Smell divers to smell pods. <coughs> smell pods. <coughs> Yo, Mercy! How's it going? Alright, let's see who's online. Alright, the obligatory invite, bruh. <coughs> Wait, chat overlay? Chat overlay? Hi, Suzaku! Doing massive amount of homework, I feel that. Hey Suzaku, how's it hanging? It is hanging. Suzaku, you got your controls figured out yet? Come on. When are you getting on Smell Divers? Hey brah. <clears throat> bots or bugs tonight? Honestly, I kind of wanted to fight bots. But, come on, you already know. We are we always go back to bugs at some point. <laughs> What's up, Shadow? What's up, J-Wall? I thought the meta were the friends we made along the way. Hey, that, that goes into the most entertaining tactic available. We need the order. Still working on it. Why do I feel you're going to pull the newbie into the highest difficulty? Suzaku, we're going to Malevolon Creek. Helldivers to Hellpods. Repeat, Helldivers to... Hey, well, how you doing? Didn't you add me the other night? You want to hop in a game? The creek is a distraction. Got to go to drop near. Dude, everyone's saying that right now, but I seen this meme uh, that I thought was funny. Oh, also... Also, apparently... Um... Oh, my God. Fucking Twitter, bro. Check now my sexy tits in bio. <laughs> why did I click unhide hidden reply? I don't know why I clicked that. I'm not that good. We don't care who's good or not. I'm trying to bring Suzaku on the highest difficulty. Anyways, uh, even the community manager said uh, another significant obstacle, blah, 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 go to drop near. Mercy, we were just talking about this. That shit's funny. The Twitter bots are insane now. Dude, I fucking muted like so many words too for like only fans shit because like you know sometimes if we're chilling in between a game like i might want to scroll twitter through on stream and it's like i just click the replies and i see fucking ass and titties and dick sucking and queefing anyways <laughs> no you're not but yeah i was like and we trust this guy all of a sudden because i was like joel's telling us to, what if they want us to abandon Malevolent Creek. What if that's Joel's goal? You guys ever think about that one? That's what I'm saying. Also, though, uh, I seen this meme. So Goth tweeted and said, people so blinded by the creek that they lost drop near defense and cut off supply line to Ubania. And I, re I, I saw this other meme earlier that was like 30 to 50k creekers being blamed for losing drop near. The over 100k players on bug planets. <laughs> How about them? How about them, guys? Why don't we talk about them? Can we leave the Creakers alone? I've just uh, been... I've just given up on getting three bot planets one a day. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That's over for that. Yeah, we will not abandon the Creek chat. We don't... We're not Creek abandoners in this chat room. Dude, I will tell you though, the uh, the porn bots on Twitter always like my tweets and help me ratio people, so that's kind of a good thing. I know that trick, bruh. Dude, it's okay, I'm the host, so as soon as I hit the mission, everybody will get pulled in. Mission Here, let's see, let's see how many people are on each planet Choose right now. Join your fellows in 40k on Fori, 70k on Astanu. 20k. Wait, that's actually less than normal. 110k. Wait, 40 plus 70 is 110. 117k. 137k. How many people on bot planets? We've got... Oh my god, 100k on drop near alone. 80k on Malevolent Creek? Yo, let's take Creek tonight. Fuck the major order, let's just take the Creek. Destroyer has joined squadron. 
Hey, we got a full squad all of a sudden. Wait, I'm editing. Wait. I'm editing the stream title to We will take Malevolon Creek. We will take Malevolon Creek. All right, sending out the tweet. Forget the hell divers to major order. We will take Malevolon Creek tonight, even though we're so not going to. <laughs> you just rallied the community. The creek will be ours. Guys, I sent the tweet. It's it's done now. It's set in stone. I'm already slosh, but I'll hop on a diff four for the creek. Let's fucking go. What's up, Quio? What up, Frosty? Secret to bot missions is EMS mortar. Hell yeah. A battleground awaiting your heroic. <clears throat> Honestly, I kind of want to try auto cannon. I never play auto cannon. Oh shoot! What are the effects? Call in time. That's not bad. The creek will be ours. Jump complete. Mission Mortars in gen are gas for bots. How about here? How about here? Alright, I am not an auto cannon gamer at all, but I think we're playing auto cannon tonight. It's about damn time. I pick up the literal. OP meta auto cannon. Where it at though? I don't even know what it looks like. There it is. Let's put on some armor that'll protect my booty hole. Should we take this one? This one looks cooler than the 50% to live, but the 50% to live is probably better. But this one looks cooler. We're bringing the fallout helmet. Regular mortar is probably worst for friendly fire. I mean, it's not as bad against bots for friendly fire. All right, we're wearing the bot slayer cape. I like, I like the swag. Oh, let's switch to, let's bring a plasma shoddy. Ooh, bro's got the supply pack. We've got some AMR. We got some co some queso cannon. Hellpod launch initiated. Friendly fire isn't. Ugh. Dude, if you wear fifty percent armor, can you um, can you survive a barrage with fifty percent explosive resistance armor? Got a double down auto cannon sentry. True, Jalen. Auto cannon sentry smashes drop ships. Having a lot of fun fighting bots. I've been running stuns and anti material rifle. Let's go. I was thinking about um, working on a full on like drop ship killer build, but it just feels a little bit meh because when you destroy a drop ship. Speaking of drop ships. Oh, nobody brought ammo pack? Calling down supplies. Or ammo on death? Requesting advanced weaponry. Oh god. Max empty. Ugh, the shield is down. Bots, 
Explosion armor is a must for all bots missions. Never mind. Max empty. Surprise. I don't even know if I'm hitting them. smokes I think deep rock did negative modifiers much better these ones are just boring I know I hate I hate the uh... oh, I need revolver oh there's a hole Hulk's died to auto cannon. Oh, I'm out of grenades. Wait, I'm gonna try to just blow off his leg. There we go. How many how many headshots is it to kill Hulk? Asteroid field was an awesome additional hazard. I hope they evolve them. Yeah, I want new modifiers too. Like four, two with AMR, okay. God dare you. Plasma shot, he's hurting right now. <laughs> oh man, this is pain. Give me like a blizzard on snow maps. Imagine a low grab modifier. It's a whole patrol that way. Alright, I need to get in here. Oh, never mind. I need to get in here, seize one rocket devastator. Let me out. Uh, yeah, plasma shotgun's pretty good for uh, groups of bots. But I'm, I don't have any more grenades, so. Oh, oh, uh, eh, eh. <laughs> Look at that. Calling in reinforcement. Northwest. For liberty. Why Creek when it's dropped near that needs taken? No, brother. That's what Joel wants you to think. It is Creek that needs taken. Tagging location, northwest. Can also yeah, destroy fabs. Wait, how does Plasma Shotty destroy fabs? Are you sure you didn't kill a jetpack dude walking out of one? Wait, what else are we doing here? I know it destroys fabs though. Calling 
Now the uh, the the plasma shot is actually pretty good for groups. If you could stun like a group that just came out of a dropship and spam a clip at them, it's it's actually not bad at all. Uh, low gravity. Oh, dude, low gravity map would be sick. Give me the jump pack. Rick, what are you doing? I got the terminal. Dropping a pin. Southwest. 15 Eagle meters. 1, leaving combat zone to resupply. Oh, it seems like we're chilling. Bots. Southwest. Uh, I could have sworn I did kill it with a plasma. It took like five shots. All right, we should try that. Marking location. South. Tagging location. I'm taking out this outpost up here, cause YOLO. Gotten a new re appreciation for Arc Plitzer with Guard Rover. Yeah, Mercy swears by it as well. All right, three shots to a heat sink. That is definitely not bad. I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah, Mercy swears by the Blitzer. All right, you said five shots. Max empty. <laughs> I don't think it does. Wait. Oh, <gasps> wait. Did somebody else destroy that? J4, did you just destroy that? All right, that was stupid. I incended it. Wait, what the hell does incended mean? It mean incendiary grenade. Oh, you did throw an incendiary. I was about to say, are you a creek crawler? Tonight we are. We're taking the creek. I'll get that other fabricator. What the hell? This really is fucking bot nom. Come on, hit your shots, brah. <laughs> Alright, we need a resupply. Do you know what Dr. Voet and Moonlight is fighting? I have no idea who any of those people are. The Quasar is objectively the best anti-tank in the game now. Why do you think that? I got yeeted into another dimension. Be like that. Alright, we go south. All right, you guys go south. I'm going to go east, and I'm going to go solo some fabricators with my cannon. I believe you need to hit the eyeball of the Hulks. Yeah, you do. It's just difficult, man. It ain't easy. Oh, shoot. Uh, if the Quasar had shorter cooldown, I'd use it all the time. For weapons with type of scope, it's easier to land shots in third person. Yeah, how come some of the scopes are so bad in first person? Like, I actually noticed that the autocannon's kinda nice in first person. I, I don't know if- I, I'm not an autocannon main, though. The bugs is weak, you don't know the horror of the Parasite Viru. Yo, Stereo! 
Here, you guys all go south. Don't follow me. I'm going on a solo mission. I'll meet you guys at the furthest south. After you finish this one. Oh. Hey, tank. What the hell? <laughs> the Quasar is fantastic. Hell yeah, the Quasar is fantastic. But he said it's the best anti-tank objectively. So I just wanted to hear his reason. Oh no, I got hit by a freaking mortar. How do y'all deal with groups of heavy devastators? I find it impossible to get shots on them without getting flinched and melted. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass for sure. Uh, let's go. The Parasite's Hive is horror, like the thing. It's so much worse. It kind of is, to be honest, since you can take out tanks from the front armor with three hits. Can you not do that? This is how you take out groups. The stun grenades, bro. Multiple, multiple, multiple stun grenades. And even then, it doesn't always work. I don't I actually don't know why uh, those two on the right didn't die. I feel like I used like a whole clip on them. Infinite ammo has no punishment for missing. So you're telling me that a gun is the best in the game because you're mediocre? Reinforcing. You better hit your shot, soldier. I'm sorry. The punishment for missing is usually death. Just don't miss, forehead. I'm trolling, Jump by the way. I'm sorry. Can you take out tanks from the front with a recoilless? I actually never tried. Oh, we running. What the hell? My shit's all the way over there. I'm sorry! Dude, I fucking love that voice line. Reinforcing. Ha! <laughs> you miss what you're shooting at and then it kills you. All will be beautiful in the hive. We are beautiful, join us. Two Quasar working in unison is the meta. I actually think Quasar Cannon with anti-tank is very strong. Uh, I'm sorry, with EAT, I meant to say. Expendable anti-tank. Quasar Cannon with an expendable anti-tank is very good because you could, like, call down your EAT to use while your Quasar is on cooldown, and you can pretty reliably just be the fucking anti-tank dude. Requesting air support. Oh, almost ran into a mine. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. I am once again in range of enemy artillery. Calling in reinforcements. What the hell is that? Orbital inbound. Engaging orbital laser. Yes, my laser. I'm a fire in my laser. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, I got a break action shotty. All right, I got one more bot facility. What are you guys fighting? You guys gotta go south. Affirmative. Affirmative. Southwest, 50 meters. Wait, I think I'm at the radar tower. Map, south, 200 meters. Or is this a Seif? 
It is a seaf. Wait, what is this? Yo, radioactive with the five. Love the content. Thoughts on railgun now. And I think it's a cool weapon. Are you on PlayStation or PC? Because to be fair, I don't use the railgun that much. But on a PC, it takes like, what, 15, 16 shots to kill a bio titan, which seems a bit excessive. Do you know what happened with the few CSMT King, Dr. Voet? No, I don't. And bye. Nothing is going on this earth. PS5. Yeah, on PS5, it apparently you can still two-shot Bile Titans. So I think that's why you feel that way. Dropping a pin. South. My thoughts on the Railgun is fix the PS5 thing and then just unnerf it. Because it was like five to six shotting Bile Titans on PC always. And, and it was still very strong. And now we have other weapons that, like, are very nice. Like, Quasar Cannon. Eat. Recoilless Rifle. Auto Cannon. Like, people are- people actually got off of the railgun meta now, and I think it- it would be fine to rebuff it back up, because I think- Motherfucker. That explosive armor saved my ass. Yo, I appreciate that five, though. Thank you. And the compliment. Bitch, die. Yo, I will say one thing about the Scorcher is I actually figured out how to consistently kill heavies a lot quicker. You actually just want to aim higher. I don't know what it is. I think it's the scope. I like the railguns with bots still. Oh, we just don't have a dropship? Cool. I need some stems. Yeah, I'm not over there. <laughs> uh, eagle rearm. In infinite ammo means I can shoot medium armor too. That is true. That is something I was thinking about. That you could just take out like brood guards that are fucking annoying sometimes, depending on your primary. That is very true. I agree with that. It should have been a nerf to charge your damage. Well, I. Uh, the, the main issue was the, was the PlayStation thing, because, like, I, I was always wondering, like, did devs nerf the railgun because it's one-shotting Bile Titans on fucking PlayStation? Because if so, then that's, like, an unjustified nerf. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Because, like, half your player base is not really experiencing that. So it just got nerfed for half the player base. I've never done partner reloading. If you need uh, partner reloading, you're a weak man. No, dude, partner reloading? Mercy, didn't you watch my rocket video? If you didn't, that's fine. But go to the section where I'm covering recoilless rifle versus dropships. Me and Bruh loaded into an eradicate just for fun. Just to like... Oh god, I don't think I hit this guy. Literally just for fun. Motherfucker, I'm a jackass. Just for fun, and we literally shot down like 17 dropships in a row. It was fucking phenomenal. It was an amazing time. With recoilless, you have to stop and reload. Yeah, but that's not that big of a deal all the time, especially with stun grenades. Like, I just think they have pros and cons. I feel like they there are reasons to run both, depending on your loadout, depending on your build. And even, I would go as far to say, as four people shouldn't run recoilless rifle, just as four people shouldn't run quasar cannon. If you have a balanced mix of both on your team, you're going to have a better time because... You're gonna have a better time because you're like if four people have recoilless rifles, you're gonna run into ammo problems. If four people have quasar cannons, you'll probably be fine. HMG is underrated. That is definitely somewhat true. 
HMG is the same as the arc thrower before it got popular. HMG has like its little niche community where a lot of people love it, but it's definitely underrated to the broader community. HMG feels so bad to use. A lot of people disagree with you, man. HMG feels great to use. Can HMG kill Hulk through Visor? Yes. PlayStation's way less than half the player base. One of the Tuesday nights, there were 300 K people playing. Only like 25k PS5 players still connected. Okay, I don't think the disparity is that large. But I, I was just saying like, you know, half of the play, like, I don't know. I was just being broad. I, I don't know the exact statistic. I don't think it's 25k to 300k though. That seems wild. Yeah, yeah, HMG turret. Yeah, HMG turret, I know. Um... gonna say something else uh oh i just wish the hmg turret got the other turret upgrades that's the main thing i'm pretty sure no one in this lobby needs samples right <laughs> i'm just running around collecting samples just for no reason is that a detector tower here i got a laser for that Real shit. I normally play with two friends focusing on big enemies with recoilless quasar and two focused on crowd control. It seems pretty balanced, hell yeah. Yeah, that's how you should run it. Like, always look at what your teammates are running. If they're running ammo hungry ass shit, then maybe don't be am ammo hungry. Sending in an eagle. Here, I'll go destroy this detector tower. You guys just have fun fighting those bot drops that they're throwing at you. Glad we can use arc weapons again, hell yeah. I'm in this detector tower, by the way, so don't throw any more airstrikes. Oh, bro's already here. Bro, I wish you could just shoot these. But you can't. Quasar can also take out OBJ without wasting ammo. I, I don't think the ammo thing's a big deal. In squads, it definitely can be. You're definitely limited by how ammo hungry your teammates are, for sure. That's definitely a thing. But that's one of the cons of the recoilless. There's pros and cons to both. That's my whole point. They both do the same damage. And if one, if Quasar is better than recoilless, I'd be happy to admit that. I just don't think it's by a large enough margin that it's OP, it needs nerfed. Because some people are literally saying it's the most OP rocket launcher ever. I'm like, bro, you understand Eat and Recoilless Rifle have literally existed in their form, in the same form as the Quasar Cannon is? Like, people who are calling Quasar Cannon OP and needs a nerf, like, just don't play rockets, in my opinion. Because if they did, they would realize it's just an infinite ammo Eat every 13 seconds. All right, what are we doing here? Heavy. Northwest, close. Requesting orbital. Oh, also, I made medic armor. Hell yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Yo, spawn me, bro. Quasar for group, RRE for solo. I think there's a really strong... Quasar Eat build, I want to try uh, solo. So where you're playing with Quasar for the ammo, but like during the downtime of the shots, you could spawn up and eats. The bot gunship soon? Yeah, that's going to be dope. Oh, they also said they're coming out with a new anti-air weapon. Like an anti-air, anti-tank uh, stratagem. Or maybe support weapon. That's going to be really dope. I can't wait to see what that is. But fix the spear, bro. The spear is the freaking anti-air weapon. Here, uh, we're going to do... We're going to kill these bot fabricators. I'm ready for the autocannon mech. Never mind. South. Enemy Dropping a pin. Southeast. 50 meters. Bots. 
Look, if you're not going to make mechs tankier against bots, then in my opinion, you need to make it so that there's a warning on explosion. Motherfucker. Still alive. All right, cool. Give me a new war bond. Oh shit! Not today. Bro, there's always just a random rocket fucker giving nothing to society, just taking all the government money. Hiding in some fucking bushes, ruining my run. What is hitting me, bro? I'm 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 either getting hit from through this mountain or I'm getting shot in the back. I think it's through the mountain. Oh god. Oh god, I'm jammed. Why am I jammed? Oh, ion storm. The creek is still insane, it seems. Oh god, there's a hell bomb. All right, time to fucking go. I'm jammed. Oh, man. Get away from me. Help me. I need help. I need a SOS. Where's let me solo her? <laughs> what armor are you running? 50% explosive resistance. It seems decent right now. I'm not going to lie. But the second I get headshot, I'm going to freaking cry. Reinforcing. Oh, my God. Look at those fucking enemies on the map. All right. Time to eagle airstrike and pray my way out of here. Space Vietnam is a great place. Bro, I swear I was getting shot through that wall, though. I don't think that killed anything. Yo. Let me get some ammo. Let me get a stim. Somebody stim me. Bro, I'm going to get those bot fabricators. Oh my god, and I'm out of grenades. I'm going to get those bot fabricators. Here, someone take the samples. Dropping item. Is it actually playable without shield? Uh, so the thing is, if you get headshot, it just doesn't matter. That's the only issue. The issue is not the survivability of the body shots, it's the survivability of the headshots. So yeah, shield probably would help tremendously with that. We gotta travel through water. Fuck me. Oh my god. Oh, I knew I wasn't gonna make it, bro. I'm out of stems. Not used to having less than six grenades. No, I just have, I have nothing. I have zero grenades, zero stems. Those plant barriers are OP. The bushes can tank everything. I know, dude. They need to do something about bushes, bro. Like, they talk about realism, but would a real-life bush block a laser beam? Or would it just get burned up real quick? I stood up from rock cover to headshot some rockets, and then I got headshot back by a rocker. Reinforcement! The fact that there are no armored helmets is the primary reason shields are so good. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about trying out Ballistic Shield again. Because uh, Ballistic Shield actually protects your head decently. Joining the fray. And if we wear fortified armor, we can protect our body. Jesus Christ. These bushes, bro. I'm going to get that bot fabricator. You guys have fun at extraction. Something's following me. Weapon east. Never mind. Box. South 
I'm gonna go get that fabricator and then I want you guys to leave without me. Oh, fuck me. Get some! Get some! Ah! No, bro, I can't get across this water! <laughs> no! I can't get across the water, bro. Ballistic makes you T-pose and you have to switch weapons. True, there is that annoying bug with it right now, huh? Bro, I'm just trying to get across the damn water. Dude. We need to take help pod space optimization because, like, whenever we re reinforce, we just have no grenades or stems. I don't know why we didn't take it. Take a dip. Helldiver 1, mechs had HP bar. Sad to see so much quality of life. Leaving Helldivers 2, like, loadouts. Yeah, I agree. I wish they would have uh, launched a game with more of that stuff. Oh, it turns out you're dead, Jaywall. Maiwa. Moshindaru. Yeah, let's go, Creek. We did it. Look at our one star. Damn, we almost had every freaking automaton base. We missed one. That's what I was going for. Yeah, the headshots are insane. Yeah. I just needed to have my sniper more and I could have cleared more. Rip. Do 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 na na. Yeah, bots are easy. Shut up, bro. <laughs> dude, bro, so that dude. A hey, John with the carry. Hey, me and bro had melee kills. There's Where's your guys' melee kills? Dude, we need a personal order that's like a hundred melee kills in one day. I'll fucking slam that shit. Aboard, that walking barrage is being missed. We have minus one stratagems. The helmets need abilities. I'm gonna use the defender. All right, you gotta rock defender, ballistic shield, AMR. That's the loadout. I have 650 plus melee kills. I love that button. Me too. Mm, I feel like that was a good spot to land. I've been enjoying orbital laser lately. That's actually a stratagem I never play with. AMR, anti-material rifle. Jay, while you run whatever you want, I'm telling bro what to run. I have more melee kills than grenades. Okay, that's crazy. Bro, I'm, I was a little impact grenade spammer. John, how do you like the shield generator against bots? I feel like it goes down quickly, but I'm not sure. I don't really play with it. Gives you enough time to shoot your auto cannon. Hmm, that's true. That's all you need it for. Uh, hey Jay, well, instead of UAV, do you want to take... Uh, maybe a reinforcement? Or the localization confusion. Does anyone know if localization confusion's good yet? I haven't seen any, like, concrete reasoning on whether this booster is good or not. I think it stalls how fast bot ship or drop ships and breaches happen, right? It might give you enough time to stop another reinforcement. Help pod launch initiated. Arc thrower and energy shield pack and railgun orbital. Hell yeah! I still am an impact grenade spammer. Hell yeah! All right, so. 
hot take on the railgun nerf. It definitely needs reverted at this point, right? Right? For sure, right? We can we can mostly agree on that. And fix the PS5 thing. We've already said that. But in hindsight, it kind of was a good thing because the meta in this game is like so diverse. Everybody just uses different shit all the time now. But before the nerf, people were definitely like 80% railgun. 80% railgun builds. But like, it definitely did push people away. No, not the railgun orbital, the railgun support weapon. Oh shoot, I was gonna switch back to Scorcher. I like Plasma Shoddy, but I actually have a build for it. You know what? Fuck it, let's go Plasma Shoddy. Uh, we could kill that illegal broadcast from a distance if it's the tower. We don't actually need to go over there. I'm all in on Quasar Slugger. What's up, Crimson? We just hopped on. On game two. I've never been able to reproduce with my PS5 friends. So, what I will say is I'm, I wasn't somebody who played with the railgun a lot, but anytime I had PlayStation people in my lobby, I would literally be like three-shotting Bile Titans with Arc Thrower. And I just always assumed it was the same bug. So, I'm not like someone who's played with Railgun enough to really be able to tell you. I'll get on soon once I take a shower. I need to be at my best. Alright, you guys do objectives. I'm gonna run around and get uh, automaton posts. I got that PS5 Railgun res. Auto cannon, dope. I fucks with it. Dropping a pin, northwest, fifty meters. Requesting <laughs> dropping a pin, south, two hundred meters. Still struggling to find a good gun for bots using diligence. I'm only two hundred five medals away from scorcher. Uh, it's definitely scorcher. I would say, try. Do you have the newest war bond? The Plasma Punisher is honestly very good against bots, but it, you do have to, like, kind of feel out the playstyle for it. And you, you're you really relying on stun grenades. Oh, yeah, Slugger should be pretty good against bots, too. I always forget about Slugger. Sending in an eagle. Heavy. Northwest. Close. Scorcher is the bot weapon, so versatile. Requesting air support. Yeah, Scorcher is just the Scorcher. I have to kill this dude. Stop looking at me. How dare he fucking look at me. Autocannon poggers. What's up, Appa? Slugger is better than Scorcher for bots, in my opinion. Mmm, that's a hot take, my friend. My friendo. Wait, let me unscope that. They see me. They do. Wait, is there another building here? No, there's not. Calling down fortification! Sending in an eagle. Scorcher makes it so you can be a lot less precise and you can shoot a lot more stuff in the face. Yeah, the slugger is pretty good for that as well. 
Rocket plus Scorcher combo for turret tanks works with the Slugger too. So can you shoot the side of it or the bottom of a of a cannon turret with a Slugger? I don't actually know. That's what I was talking about with the Scorcher. With a Scorcher, you don't need to be directly behind it. That's why it's so good with rockets against uh, cannon turrets and stuff. Package acquired. Dropping package. Gotta be in the vents. Yeah, with Scorcher, you could just shoot the side or the bottom of it, and it'll pretty much destroy it. Dropping package. Objective located. Heavy. Southwest. Requesting tap pack. Package acquired. Slugger one shots chaff no matter what. Scorcher doesn't. Yeah, you have to hit headshots with Scorcher. Dropping package. Package acquired. I gotta say that I like the new HMG for bots specifically. It does have a bit more of a learning curve, though. I uh, I tried it against bots. People were saying it's better against bots, but I didn't really like it. I just don't like how often you have to reload it. That's what sucks. Can you shoot off, like, Hulk legs with it or something, though? By the way, a lot of people were telling me to start shooting Hulk legs. Anybody have any experience with that? I tried it with the autocannon tonight. It didn't seem like it did anything. But maybe that's not an autocannon thing. Meat saws are annoying to kill with the Scorcher. Yeah, meat saw saws are just annoying to kill, though, in my opinion. The hell, those dudes are so fucking far away. Hey, whoever's left over there, can you reinforce them? What the hell? Where did this freaking mortar come from? Since when am I in range of enemy artillery, bro? Like stalwart with eats and shield, yeah. I've been seeing a lot of stalwart love recently, which is cool to see, because I used to love that gun at lower levels. So I'm glad people are using it at a higher level. Uh, con of quasar for me is not being able to deal with walkers and devastators well. Run out of scorcher ammo too fast. Oh my god, the ion storm shows up right now. I feel like I'm lagging all of a sudden. Drop ship. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Orbital inbound. Follow me. Dead left, west, far. Sauron's getting testy. Uh, crash issues I've been having painful recently. Yeah. Alright, where's that artillery? Dropping a pin. South. 100 meters. I hope that they bring back a primary MG like an HD1 that used to be the stalwart. Well, it seems like it's just the stalwart now. It's just a support weapon. Not today. Sending in an eagle. That's called democracy. 
What? Bro, why is like my leg broken or some shit? Are the mortars dead here? Reloading. Oh fuck me. Requesting objective equipment. Boss fabricator, south, close. Requesting air support. Calling down fortifications. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Reloading. There's still another mortar there. I gotta come back for it. Yep. <laughs> if somebody brought Vitality Booster, you probably could get hit by one of those plants that causes bleeding, but the booster stops bleeding. Is that the Vitality though, or is that the Muscle Enhancement? Yo, Apollo, what's up, bro? Something really neat about Ballistic is since the cooldown's three minutes faster, if anyone doesn't have a backpack, you get an extra one sooner. Support weapon. Dude, I couldn't find that last mortar. The hell? There's just a million fucking dudes here. I think Plasma Punisher could do a little more damage. It would be fine. 30 plus HP. Oh, it gives you bleeding immunity. Okay. Muscle enhancement works on Hunter Slow. It doesn't work that well on Hunter Slow, though, I've noticed. Maybe I'm tripping. I tried that, though, after I seen that video. Plasma Punishers, projectiles should move faster. I think it just needs more damage. Like, just a smidge more. Just a wee bit more damage, laddie. Yeah, no, Vitality gives, I think, 30% more HP in general. Because you gotta remember that body parts... HP does not work in this game like it does in other games. Like, think about when you shoot a charger. If you shoot one charger's leg off, you need to focus on that leg. If you start shooting other parts of the charger, you're not gonna kill it faster. Like, each of your limbs and each enemy limb has HP in this game. I'm not 100% sure if that's, like, exactly how it's coded, but, like, that's how the game plays, for sure. Sending in an eagle. Heavy. On my 
and just run around doing objectives. Maybe the most fun I had in a while. Hell yeah, hamburger. What's up, Juquan? It has really bad AoE damage for no reason. I just think it needs more damage. Like, it shouldn't take five shots to kill a Devastator when I have to freaking line up those shots. Like, and it's fucking, like, actually difficult to do. Oh, I see what you mean, though. Maybe it needs more splash. That way I could shoot their feet. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's go try to finish off this mortar encampment. Dropping a pin. Southeast, 100 meters. Y'all see HMG can kill a Bile Titan? Really? That's fucking funny. Thing still seems to have a total health pull as well. I think orbital laser versus charger, it'll kill it. It just takes a while. Yeah, but the orbital laser is likely targeting the same spot, and it's Package likely fire. targeting not a weak spot either. All right, where was this last mortar? Right here? Kidding me. Vitality. There's a mine there. Uh, Apollo, send me the clip of HMG killing a fucking Bile Titan. I actually just want to see that. Tagging location. Never mind. Southeast. Mm, none of those vents are facing me. Tagging map. Southeast. 50 meters. Bots. Southeast. Two clips in the abdomen. Not efficient, but it can. HMG kills a Bile Titan by shooting the buff butt off. How does- does a Bile Titan die when you shoot its buff off, butt off? That's crazy. I trolled. Wait. Defender's so good for stealth? Yeah, it is. How do you feel about the Quasar? It's great. Wait, because I've shot Bile Titan butts off and I swear they get tankier. Because Laser Cannon shoots Bile Titan's butt off. Oh, they bleed out? How long does it take for them to bleed out? If that's the case, then Laser Cannon legit kills Bile Titans, by the way. If you want to wait for them to bleed out. Longer than a charger? Three minutes? <laughs> Drop ships. I want to hear Sweet Liberty, my, my leg. Are you rotating viewers? Yeah, we can. Thank you. Pause. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, uh, uh, I fell in uh my ex girlfriend snatch on accident. <laughs> Dude, I thought I was going to live because the Vitality Booster. That was the scariest part. I'm not going to lie. That was actually the scariest part. Thick as a hole diver. The back sack and also the bones. We're talking about the bones breaking off. Yeah, you can do that with a laser cannon. I've shot a Bile Titan's ass off. And I, I feel like it gets tankier for some reason. But I didn't know it just takes three minutes to bleed out. I, I didn't know about that. LMAO, I got you killed. LinkedIn Clips channel. All right, I got you. Ex-girlfriend's reaction. Hey, she knows. Okay, don't act like she don't know. She know. We both know. Everybody knows. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. I don't know why HMG seemed to be able to kill it faster, like after killing the butt. Uh, we're gonna go watch the clip after after this game. Because I am actually really curious about that. Yeah, I know Bio Titans can't spew. I know it on a personal level. Did we do a radar tower or some shit? How many side objectives? One, two, three, four, five. We did do radar tower. Uh, yo, bro, you want to run north and help me with this big-ass frickin' base? 
position at 20 minutes remaining. Bro, heavy bases are hard to take out solo. It's legit difficult. They need to make a mission where you're just taking out heavy bases. Or a change blitz so that on so that on hell dive instead of a number of bases you need to take out it's like go take out two heavy bases that would genuinely be much harder is the plasma shoddy better than the scorcher no i don't think so i think scorcher is still better scorcher so the thing about the plasma shoddy versus scorcher is scorcher and plasma shoddy do the same damage uh plasma shoddy or Scorcher, you can actually aim from a range. Calling down fortifications. Or I might be saying that backwards. Thank you. Affirmative. That's because it's hard to pay attention. Uh, but Scorcher does have a, a larger AoE, which is relevant. The larger AoE on the score on the I'm sorry, the plasma shoddy. God damn it. The plasma shoddy has a larger AoE. The Scorcher can shoot from range. Those are the two major differences. And overall, though, because they do the same damage, I think it makes the Scorcher better. Yo, Hacks! What's up, homie? What the fuck? Oh, fucker. Well, what the fuck is this shit? Come on, the ragdoll. Dude, I had three bot drops show up on me out of nowhere. Alright, we going in. We diving. Got tired of Huff and even more Puff, so here I am. What's up, bro? Cannon turret killed me. What's up, ninth dude? Why are you on Creek when we lose in the Major Order? The Major Order is a distraction by Joel. It's automaton propaganda that has infiltrated our government. We are taking down the Creek. Slots are the devil. Uh, it can take nearly a full clip to kill a Devastator. Aim higher. Aim at the very top of the Devastator and you'll notice it consistently killing it faster. Bitch, I said get on. Oh, you could stim on there? Outside ammo. Requesting air support. Thick finally using the HMG. Nice. Bro, I always wanted to hop on one of those in a base. Oh, we lagging. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Anyone know if only doing one mission? I'm pretty sure you have to finish the order. If we get drop nearby tonight, we can still finish the order. Anyone know if only... Oh, yeah. What's up, Rex? We don't need a supply to drop near. We need a supply... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said the wrong name. It's cool. Uh, you've got four, so I'll watch. If someone ha crashes, I'll hop in. Uh, after this order, we will rotate anyway. Each operation a Helldiver completes deals damage to the planet. Yeah, each operation, as in each set of missions. Do it. Do it. You missed. <laughs> I'm sorry! Dude, I need to switch to that voice so that I can hear that voice line on command. Let's go, bruh. Bruh is a hero. Bruh is a hero to democracy. He died so that we could take out that base.
EXP also helps. Yeah, they changed it in the last patch, didn't they? I don't want in on your lottery, not democratic. What are you talking about, hacks? I'm getting your ass in a game next. Requesting air support. Calling down fortifications. Heavy, northeast, 100 meters. You think you could come in here and not join my lobby, hacks? Think again. I wish there were a pool of funds where people could fund together using Rex to put positive effects on planets. That would be great. That would be phenomenal. Kinda rather watch for now. Alright, well it's up to you. <laughs> Dude, if like everybody could pull rec slips and just like get rid of the fucking negative modifiers, that would actually give us something to do with rec slips. And also take care of those fucking modifiers, bro. Them shits are so ass. Don't worry, I've got the super samples, boys. That's what I came back for. We can go to extraction now. No, they changed it, Appa, so that, um... Requesting air support. Requesting they changed it so that EXP actually matters now. Because it used to be that... It was good to spam level 5 missions. What the fuck hit me? Not the samples! Not the samples! Alright, fuck the samples. Let's just leave. I don't actually care about samples. Let's try to actually liberate the planet. Uh, every Helldiver is like... I ready, how about you? I ready. How long are you gonna be on for? I don't know, I just got on. So a while. I'm sorry! Yo, chat, remind me to switch primaries after this game. Because I do like the plasma shoddy when I feel like playing with it, but I do not feel like fucking working around this piece of shit right now. Into the bushes I go. I'm just a bushman. I know I'm swarmed, but I am John Helldiver. B -b 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 cool plasma. I want my scorcher back. Blitzer is not really good, but I expect they will tweak it. It's fun to use, just low fire rate and unreliable and arcing. Yee. It's a quote from Halo Reach. I feel you. I'm John B. Helldiver. I want to go make these Dan Dan noodles and watch my show. Is today Saturday? Dude, oh. Hacks, I'm sitting here in my head. I'm like, when are you hopping on? Because you have to get off early, but I think it's Saturday. <laughs> That's why I'm like, where are you? I'll probably still be on. I don't know. We'll see. I didn't plan on just getting off anytime soon. We're chilling. Yes, today, Saturday. Okay, that makes sense now. 
What show are you watching, though? I was watching Invincible. Chat, anybody notice the marketing for Invincible just fucking, like, disappeared? Like, Invincible's such a dope show. But, like, I had no idea Season 2 was back until very recently. Or, like, Season 2 Part 2. I'm watching those Dan Dan Noodles. So my cat pulled the empty wet food container out of the trash, little fucker. Tagging map, east, 100 meters. <sighs> oh, he see me. Mid-season break is such a dumb idea. How'd that only kill three? ETA, T minus two minutes, 30 seconds. Calling in reinforcements. <clears throat> yeah, I was talking about this with Attack on Titan as well. Like, where the fuck did, like... Bro, did anybody not learn from Attack on Titan that season four, the final season, part two, part three, is not good for marketing? Like, that show had the most wild falloff of all time. Yo, I just lived to my... Fuck you. Dude, I just lived to my minus 50% armor. But yeah, Attack on Titan had, like, the saddest falloff of all, all time. I don't even think people would have hated the ending if it all fucking came out at once. Reporting to the front. I don't know, maybe that's presumptuous, though. Marking location. South. Enemy patrol. Would be cool. Koreans are good at three things. Starting wars that never end. Stirring up U.S. propaganda and Dan Dan noodles. Don't forget StarCraft and Taekwondo. Is Taekwondo Korean? I don't know Taekwondo, but I do know kick your ass. Max empty. I have trust issues with anime now. Creakers on 29 to 31, March 2024. I'm not even a creaker, but tonight I am. Because the creak was calling. I realize that Joel doesn't want us to take Malevolon Creek. Joel wants to stop us from taking the Crick. Requesting advanced weaponry. There we go. Now we got a real man's weapon. It's the martial art they teach the Republic of Korea Army. But they've been popping up at Korean takeouts. So I'm not complaining. We got 140k motherfuckers fighting bugs and they're still losing the Eastern Front. We have a shit ton of people on Urbania as well. Can I land my Eagle Airstrike on that dropship? Let's see. What the fuck? I wanted to shoot. I wanted to shoot a tank out of the sky, and you fucking punched me in the face. <laughs> Get shit on, bro. Get absolutely RKO'd. 
<laughs> I'm like, let me see if I can shoot this tank out of the sky and do a cool trick shot. And then I just get slapped. <sighs> Alright, let's watch this clip of an HMG killing a Bile Titan real quick. Because that's what I want to see. Begin firing. <laughs> reload. I should have time to reload. I Real hope gun. before it does the nonsense. Machine gun. Well, this just can't do okay. it, right? Once it breaks this, I, I think it's gonna bounce off. Yep. And I mean very hard. Don't worry. Oh my god, I'm lagging. I'm not going to show a long clip of laser cannon. It would take 40 minutes. Maybe, who knows. I do want to mention in the Lots top right. Lots of samples collected. That timer is how long it takes me, book. roughly, to clear all the ads and get everything situated. I spent a lot of time doing this. And I do choose these lower level battle titans, as if level matters, because they're full HP. That's the expectation. They're not spawning from a breach getting freaking... Bang it busted. You can kill it. It just takes 30 years, dude. I should need the backpack. Yeah, I'm trying to find the HMG. Arc thrower, Patriot. Where's HMG? I literally don't see it. Oh, heavy machine gun. My bad. I thought you meant HMG emplacement. Oh, see, I was I was interested in seeing the HMG emplacement do it. Change RPMs to 1200. EMS strike. Firing. Dude, I don't know why my fucking YouTube is lagging right now, but it is. I pull up with a box. You're here. The galaxy awaits. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpop Prime. It's because Helldivers choose my CPU. Engaging orbital thrusters. Oh yeah, chat, aren't you gonna remind me to switch my primary? Orbit synchronized. Actually, this might be an eradicate mission though. If it is, I will actually keep the new tube. Zero melee kills. Slugger time. Now I'm pretty sure this is an eradicate mission. I'm actually gonna keep the noob tube. All right, I'm gonna try 50% armor on the bra build, F or 50% explosive with vitality. No, 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 I'm not because we're doing trader barrage. Also, impact grenades. Hell Divers is what convinced me I needed to upgrade my CPU. Went from a Ryzen 7 to a 5800X3D. Hey, John, I uh, don't recommend bringing turrets. <laughs> I mean, listen, you do you, John, but they are going to get destroyed. They, they are going to be decimated. Also, can someone bring extra reinforces? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Launch initiated. Yeah, no, no. I'm not trying to tell you what to bring or what not to bring, but you know, they're, they're gonna get destroyed. They're gonna die. Oh no, I forgot we're doing. <laughs> Listen, if Bruh is in your lobby, you can't expect a turret to live. Unless it's a longer mission. Make sure you spend 2.4 seconds looking at scenery. A happy Helldiver is a deadly no, Helldiver. Maybe we shouldn't trigger this just yet. No. Okay, that's our way in. Warning, you are leaving the mission area. Orbital inbound. Orbital inbound. Requesting orbital. Requesting orbital. They abandoned our 
Dude, I seen some clip of a dude on like a level nine eradicate with his friends and he got knocked out of bounds and he accidentally trader barraged to finish the eradicate mission. It's actually a pretty solid clip. God damn, shredder tanks fucking turn fast. The strat is so good, I just hate how troll it feels to players who don't understand. Yo! <laughs> I haven't thrown a single thing yet. Bro, that shredder tank is eating us alive. Don't go out of bounds till we get that shredder tank. All right, I threw some barrages. We're chilling. I do need a spawn, though. That moment when Trader Barrage doesn't let you go back inbounds. Ready to liberate. Orbital inbound. They abandoned our mission and our cause. Execution was our only choice. That's crazy. Yo, Mandalorian with the Mandarin with the... What's up, bro? Appreciate it. Heavy devastators of some of the best eyesight and aim I've ever seen. Bro, they also have no fucking recoil, I swear to God. Dude, I don't even know what killed that dropship. How many kills do we have? <laughs> I remember the first time encountering automatons. It was night, Malevolent Creek. Me and my squad were defending extraction, but we were overwhelmed. My teammates died before my eyes. All right, we're over halfway there. Reloading. Hey, bro, you got some respawns? Whoa, we're halfway there. What the fuck? I didn't even see that shredder tank. Sending in an eagle. Yeet. Nice. The bra build never fails. There is but one sentence. Oh god. Oh god. No, we lived that crazy hit with all our bones broken and a random flamethrower killed us. No joke, my friend, a deep rock player, tried Helldivers for the first time on the Creek event. He never played again? God damn. 
Hello, motherfucker. Wait, I'm spawning you guys at the dropship. Hold on. Don't get in yet. Don't get in yet. There's a fucking Hulk right behind us. Alright, get in, get in, get in, get in. Everyone go, everyone go, everyone go. No, J-Wall, get in! J-Wall! He's stuck under the pelican! <laughs> Oh, it was John. <laughs> you have maintained our way. No, not John. Dude, I, we just fucking watched him get executed by a fucking chainsaw arm. We literally just watched his body got chopped in half. <laughs> I wish I wasn't constantly crashing. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. That's how John Helldiver died. John Helldiver. 07. Can we get some 07s in the chat for John? <laughs> Sag. 08. OT. You know, it never since it never felt the same since we lost him on the creek. All right, accidentals. Oh, we all had the same accidentals. That's crazy. We lost many good hell divers today. I feel like it doesn't count all our kills whenever we do bra build, because like we all had what sixty-seven kills. That's not five hundred. Is he wearing the super citizen armor? Hey. The bridge is yours, Helldiver. Yeah, I Take bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy is attempting to seize one the of our bald head smells uh the smells bald. Hey, all I'm saying is ever since I got on, there's more people on the creek now. Change your loadout, true. All right, Hamgurger, get your ass in here. Yo, later, J Wall. Thanks for playing, man. All right, give me my damn scorcher. I once took a bunch of low levels to the level on. We dropped hot. The first one barely made it out of the pod. The second one tried to run but failed. The last one got out by a Hulk. We got the same drip. Maybe after you die, the barrages don't count as yours anymore. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely weird. Shit. 50% cooldown, minus one stratagem. Let's try to find one without... There we go. That's a good one. This operation would strike a mighty blow against the enemy. Mission coordinates locked. Hell pods prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Engaging orbital thrusters. Mm. Looks like we're retrieving launch codes, boys. Uh, by the way, I want all three of you to not spawn inside the launch code area. Or maybe me and Bra can land inside and the rest of you land outside. Because we are simply going to uh, land in there, grab the launch codes, and dip. Yo, Hamgurger, toss on stamina. WJ Wall. Worst drop ever under a stratagem jammer with a distant cannon firing at us. One, two, three. The quick play partners left. I did too. Bro, I don't blame them. Dude, sometimes you like spawn on a bot map and it's just the worst shit ever. 
Shrieker nests feel like that on bug maps. When you spawn near Shrieker nests, it, oh, it feels horrendous. Even on the lighter side of Malevolon, it's still night. So how do the plants grow? Because they need sunlight, but there isn't any. How? They're moon plants. Go now and shoot you for. These what the fuck? I thought I killed his ass. All right, cool. We got launch codes. Dip out. I'm going north. Go north. Go north. Point me to the enemy. Requesting air support. Tagging map. Southwest. 300 meters. Keep liberty. Stack back inbound. New man! Turn down fortifications. Liberty dispensed. Going down to the side objective. Those are secretly shrooms. Moonlight is just sunlight from a mirror. Exactly. But different plants grow under moonlight. Just is what it is. Oh, we have impacts. Shit. Oh no, I unequipped impacts. Alright, whatever. Uh, how did we lose Ubania? I thought we had time, because the defense on drop near failed. Shoot it down. Do it. Calling in reinforcements! Pretty sure Joel is pulling a GM move with the Tibet cap. Joel doesn't want us to take the creek. I'm telling you guys. He wants us to lose the creek. It's part of their strategy. Calling in a hell bomb. Is that the back of the vent? It is. My aim sucks! Bots, south. Calling down fortifications. And I have to be straight on with those. Southwest, cancel that. Heavy. Southwest, draw close. Requesting fortifications. Calling in a hell bomb. Requesting air support.
Uh, is this nine? Hard for me to tell between seven and nine. Yeah, it's nine. Need to liberate drop near, not creek. Community needs to redirect quickly or we will fail. No, Joel does not want us to take creek. I'm trying to tell you guys. Joel wants, wants creek to stay undefeated, but we will win creek. Man, auto cannon feels kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. Creek crawlers are a different breed. They only care for creek. Bro, I'm not even a creek crawler. It's just obvious propaganda. My sources trust me. is close second on bots have you joined the auto cannon club for bots right now because it's definitely the move against bots it's pretty fucking strong auto cannon is love i got the terminal i recommend leaving Holy shit, look at that base over there. All right, we should go do objective and then we'll go do that heavy base. Well, I guess we'll do both objectives first. Tagging map, south, 200 meters. Hey, radar dish. Marking location, south. Man, this game is so good. What up, Jay? Crouch. The fuck? With the AMR, you need to aim on the top left of the box radical. Which armor are you using? I'm using medium armor with 50% explosive resistance. Because it does feel like it helps with survivability. I've definitely been living shit that I normally wouldn't be living. We'll say that. What's up, Ezekiel, by the way? Uh, 
radar tower, outpost. It's two small outposts. I got the one on the edge of the map. Any ammo here or some shit? Rare sample acquired. Southeast. Engaging. I'll take it. Am I the only one who really hates the red dot sight? Some precise weapons like scythe and railgun? No, all the sights in this game are trash. Honestly, the auto cannon is the first sight I've used that I felt like I liked. Fifty meters. Hey, don't go to that green mark. There's like three dropships there. Just ignore that shit. What's the cooldown on that bubble shield? Futuristic syndrome. I hate the sights in this game. I feel like they're not accurate though either. That's the main thing. Oh, what the hell? Requesting orbital. One minute, ten seconds. That's not bad. Shit, there's a patrol there. Ending in an eagle. Marking location. Tagging around east. South. Close. Here comes the cavalry. <laughs> Requesting air support. 90 seconds before upgrade. Yeah, but I have the upgrades. Bro, give me a freaking sword hand. Take a sword hand any day of the week. I gotta go, I'll join back later? Okay. That sucks though. God, my aim sucks sometimes. Tagging location. Cancel that. Bots. Northeast. Yeah. Dropping a pin. Ah! Two hundred meters. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. Uh, I run auto cannon and auto cannon turret orbital laser shield gen relay. What's up, dagger? Bro. Oh. Don't touch me. I have one stim left. <laughs> That's why I'm mad, because I have one fucking stim. Rare sample acquired. I'm on it. What the fuck? There's just a rocket devastator chilling here. Dropping a pin. North, 50 meters. I was shocked to learn recoil armor affects your standing recoil too. Really? That is actually super interesting. Uh, would it also apply to support weapons? Probably not support weapons. I would be very surprised if if they make uh, weapon attachments for support weapons. I mean, that shit would, that would be sick, but I would that would just surprise me. Wait. Wait, I'm actually confused. Why is extraction lit up for us? 
We did not launch the nuke. Why can we extract? Shield gen is underrated as fuck. Why does it say extractions available? Does it say that for anyone else or is that just me? <laughs> a win is a win. All right, let's fucking leave. <laughs> Good job. I'm actually confused, but whatever. Well, I guess we're leaving, boys. I'm gonna go throw an orbital laser at that detector tower. Actually, I'm waiting for this uh, resupply first. No, I didn't mean to reload! Sending in an eagle. Bro, where's my primary? I don't have a primary anymore! Heavy, west, five, Never mind. I don't have a primary! Where'd you guys call that damn resupply? That's a resupply. It's one of those amazing underdog stratagems that can still kill you sometimes. Think of it as a surprise modifier. Where's the detector tower? Jesus Christ. Orbital inbound. Two Requesting advanced weaponry. That's crazy. Wait, can you throw me near that mountain that I was on? Cause my arc, my auto cannon's up there. Tagging location, bots east. Requesting air support. AC is much cooler primary. All the others are lame AF. What the hell? AC primary is based. Man, I don't think my auto cannon's up here anymore. Point me to the enemy. Oh, it is. It's very lucky. Why the creek? This isn't the objective. Because it is the objective. Joel just wants you to think that it's not. Who convinced you that this wasn't the objective? Joel? Some sort of community leader? Where did Bruh go? I swear he was up here when I landed. Sending in an eagle! 
<laughs> I got slinged across the map. Where are you? You're dead. The creek doesn't lead to Urbania. You guys aren't seeing the bigger picture. If we take the creek, then the robots will feel demoralized. You guys think the major order is something we're supposed to beat, but it's actually just propaganda by the game master. How do you know the game master doesn't have an AI in his mind and he's being controlled by automatons? I'm trying to tell you guys. Very undemocratic. Today you another foot in the <clears throat> Listen, Joel doesn't want us to take the creek. Let me let me prove to you guys. Let me prove to you guys. Okay, I actually have proof. I have proof. All right, look at this. Hold on, let me find it. Not gonna lie, that shit cringe. I know a fascist robot when I see one. Do I hear a treason? Look, you guys think, you guys think in the Helldivers Discord that these guys are always on our side? We already know that Joel is controlled by the automatons, all right? We already know Joel is controlled by the automatons, okay? He does stuff to hinder our progress. Haven't you seen the Joel memes? Hold on, let's look up some Helldivers to Joel meme. Oh wait, no, no, it's a YouTube video. Thickest team trader. Here he is. We've made it, rookie. There may be only two of us left. But <laughs> we've done it. We've secured the nuke. <laughs> With this, we can strike at the heart of the automatons, <laughs> securing Malevolon Creek, and end the war on this sector once and for all. What? What is this? J4. What if? What have you done? <laughs> I must admit, that name, J4, it's starting to grow on me. It has a nice ring to it. However, I prefer Joel. <laughs> oh shit, I'm about to get copyright struck. Fuck. Anyways, Joel is a Fucking traitor. Don't trust him. Okay. And when we get messages in the official Discord telling us not to take Malevolon Creek, we take the creek. No questions asked. We take creek. You're doing democracy's work. It's that simple. And it's always been that simple. <laughs> J4, <laughs> that name has grown on me. <laughs> Dude, that shit's hilarious. Orbit synchronized. What about here? Here? It'd be really funny if we fail on the creek. That would not be funny. See, that's the real traitor talk. My real allies are those that my brothers that died alongside me on the creek. What about here? Yo, what up, Charger Behemoth? Not doing what the government has told you. Joel here? is a traitor to democracy. He's already convicted of treason. We already know this. We're only doing 
Is that Joe Biden? Of course it's Joe Biden. What up, you know? I never really came back from the creek. That's what I'm saying, man. We still have brothers on the creek. Joel didn't send the Discord alert, but people who work with him do. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Some of his colleagues did. Uh, this is a blitz mission, by the way, guys. I didn't know if bro could tell. I'm in the creek right now. Let's go. Gotta go. All right, no worries, John. Thanks for playing, man. Have a good night. Joel didn't send the Discord alert. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Oh shit, do we have hell pod space optimization? I'm able to hop on again? Alright, well John just left, so hop in. Hamburger. What's your guys' thoughts on hamburgers? Yeah, we do, I think. Okay, let. Bitch, I said enter. That shit ain't no HMG turret. Yo, look at bro go to town over there. Just had to deal with something, I feel you. You may be a traitor, but I'll say I could never hot drop like that. <laughs> yeah, that's because us creakers are built different. Alright boys, split up. Everybody pick a base. I'm going to that heavy base. Oh, Jay needs reinforced. I couldn't throw the grenade. There's too much shit behind me. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. I've served my share of time on the creek, just not enough to be insane. I feel you. Not using the sickle. Scorcher gang. Alright, where's my shit at? Wait, where's my shit at? Oh, it's over here. Get up! Oh, I'm stunned.
Damn. Dude, if that cannon turret didn't take us out, it would be good. Is it better for bots? Uh, I like it for bots a bit more. Ready to liberate. Oh. That's what's fucking us right now, that detector tower. Dude, where's my auto cannon at? Oh, here it is. No, come on, bro. Why is there so many enemies on my auto cannon? Dude, that cannon turret fucked my whole life up. I hate when this happens. I'm pretty sure it's this way. This way. What the fuck? Oh, it's so over. Oh, explosive armor. You're the best. No, we're not done. We take all the fabricators. To get cannon targeted. That's not working. Sickle's better, but both are good. Reinforcing! Uh, what side of galactic liberation would Little Caesars be on? Oh, damn. Requesting air support. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle inbound. Delivering payload. I have no stems. called movement. I knew he was going to predict where I was going to go, so I had to predict where he was going to predict I was going to go. Don't touch me! 
Dude, I have no stems. Oh my god. I'm fucking 1 HP. And I'm scared. I didn't even want to be a soldier! My mom told me it would make her proud! What side of... Oh, I already read that. The fuck, there's two detector towers. Bitch, give me the supplies! Oh my god, bro. Wait, can I get him to fall in this hole? What about Papa John's? Papa would be his own faction in the Galactic Conquest. Hey, we cleared this area. Oh, shuttle aborting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If someone needs a supply, it's like right on me here somewhere. No, I stimmed, bro. I heard it. Papa ate 79 pizzas in like six days. As the epitome of galactic dictator, is that true? Oh, our shuttle left orbit, damn. Somebody needs to extract so we could get. ETA T minus one minute. <laughs> I watched that, bruh. The whole stream saw it. You can't run. You can't run from that. <laughs> <laughs> the creek be creaking again. Alright, we took out a good amount of bases, though. <coughs> what the fuck, J-Wall? J-Wall, I don't, I don't know if you're still in the stream, but i just seen your clip. A win is a win. Let's go, boys. And now we get to do the bra build. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I think bra build is better for uh, search and destroy missions as well. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. 
got screwed over by like three flame hogs. Me too at the very end. Dude, I heard the stim pop. I know I was at like one HP. It's best for everything. Do you think you could do long missions with the bra build? Have you tried that yet, bra? Orbit synchronized. Uh, Papa John had an interview stating the 40 pizzas in 30 days quote. It's some quality shit. What up, by the way, Copa? I did some with you? Oh, okay. Why take the creek when we need people on drop near? You know, people keep saying that. But I think people fail to realize that Joel doesn't want us to take the creek. So we take the creek. I've done brow build solo, it was pretty solid. <laughs> Mr. President. Hey, Mr. President gets to play with whatever he wants, bro. The blah, the bro build is a blessing, thank you, bro. Bro, I love how people are like, this specific thing is the best meta ever. Meanwhile, we all just equip 380 millimeter barrages and fucking slay, eradicate, and blitz missions. And it's actually pretty, pretty optimized. And we also use trader barrages. All the galaxy looks to you for salvation. This is a nice little area. Stand in the way of liberty. What are you sh what? Wait. Shoot at me once? Dropships. Can you hit me? What are you shooting? You can't hit me. Stop, stop. Stop! I only have one stim. Stop! I swear to God, I'll fucking end you. <laughs> Bro, if I say stop, that means stop. Calling down supply. No! See, now I have no fucking stems. What the fuck? I didn't even know that could break. We gotta go. Wait, Liberty, my leg! I swear to God, bruh. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> I don't even think. <coughs> I don't even think you knowed you killed me with your traitor barrage. Can I get an 890 millimeter barrage, please? They'll probably add another one eventually. Carpet bomb's gonna go crazy. I want a long barrage from a laser cannon. Dude, I will say it's really weird when one of your limbs break, you like don't take damage from it. And it just feels really weird because it tells you to stim, but you can't. Uh, 500 and gas strike for bugs and it goes well. Honestly, I think if gas strike was like a little bit bigger, it could be really good. Where am I? Bro! That's what you get! That is so what you get! <laughs> It's very funny how you have to wait for Super Earth to reload eagles and orbitals. 
But when you are branded a traitor, they have seemingly unlimited rockets. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's part of the programming. Am I in the traitor area? Shit. It's been in the bot's control for too long. What? What? What am I? What is happening? This game is buggy. Dun, 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 dun. Taking a stroll through the Malevolon Creek. Orbitals to my left. Orbitals to my right. A Hulk is on my asshole. That looks like democracy protects armor. Very harsh on traders today. Yeah. Dude, you would think Democracy Protects Armor protects you from Trader Barrage. Just based on lore alone. A nice cup of Unflink? <laughs> Dude, good thing the amount of reinforces you have left does not add to your liberation status. Because otherwise, this build wouldn't be viable. In an eagle. That was scary. Requesting orbital. Reinforcing. Orbital inbound. Orbital barrage incoming. Stand clear. Augers. If we could get a weapon that could parry bullets. Alright, we gotta make it to the shuttle, boys. You ready? No! No! Not today! Oh! If they could speak, I know our heroes would not have us mourn their loss, but rejoice in their victory. Well, we did it. <laughs> I wish Ballistic Shield got BOTW parry a cannon turret. What's BOTW? Got hulked. No, I died to the impact, bro. I swear this armor doesn't protect against impact. Bra build never fails. Normally we extract though. I'm not gonna lie. Normally we do extract even with the bra build. Poggers. 65%. Roger. See, all the people saying let's take Ubania, what they need to realize is that Creekers never stop creaking. So everyone on Ubania needs to come take the Creek. And then we can go to Ub Ubania. You need to realize when you can't negotiate with someone, you need to just give in to their demands. One last mission coordinates locked. Help pods prime. Can we do it on a lower diff? We got this. Engaging orbital thrusters. The creek beckons, exactly. Labyrinth, what's up? Orbit. Drives me nuts that you say Ubania like it's a small EU country. <laughs> How are you supposed to say it, bro? Auto cannon, schmono cannon. Ubania? Is that how I'm supposed to say it? 
I prefer Ubania. Yeah, exactly, because it sounds like Boobania. What's up, Lemons, by the way? How you doing today? I want a power sword. Dude, I want a fucking lightsaber. Wait, did I just hear Bruh's mic for a split second? You know what they say, the creaking wheels gets the grease. It's pronounced like the ship intercom says it. Well, I've never been there, so I don't know. I want a shield that blocks melee attacks like a riot shield is built for. Oh, we've got a bot drop over there oh, somehow. Die. Somehow a real bot knows we're over here. Drop ships. Dropping a pin. North oh, it's a detector tower, meters. that's why. Mm, this is the base we actually have to take, isn't it? We should go to that detector tower first. Because that thing is going to be a pain in the ass. There's also another side objective right there. Is my orbital laser really not going to kill the detector tower? Calling in reinforcements. That's crazy, bro. I swear to God, it's impossible to drop somewhere safe on bot missions. Dude, I have that weird thing where, like, this armor is keeping my leg from taking damage, but now I can't stim. Tagging map, southwest, 200 meters. Eat this! The blood! Can't stop the blood! Have a taste of democracy! Also, can we t <coughs> can we talk about how amazing it is that hell bombs refuse to fucking land here? Oh, I don't have my backpack. That's so annoying. No, let me throw this hell bomb, bro. All right, that works. Hell bomb stratagem bouncing off the ground, bro. And my fucking orbital laser didn't kill it either. That was the annoying part. Wait, there's another side objective over here. I need to, there's a side objective right here. I need to get my fucking auto cannon backpack though. Reinforcing. 
This is why at least one person... Dude, I threw an orbital laser at it, but it didn't go over there. Which is, like, just unfortunate. Oh, they know I'm here. Wonderful. Dude, how did I not pick up my freaking auto cannon backpack? That shit always happens to me, bro. I drop my auto cannon somewhere and I get shit on. All right, spawn me in. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't pick it up, man. Orbital laser also takes out that thing, but I don't know. To be fair, I didn't throw it, like, directly at it. Which could be the reason why. But it feels bullshit. Where's the SSD? Isn't a flame grenade one of the leaks on that guy's YouTube channels? <clears throat> what kind of support weapons do you think they should add? Me personally, I think flame grenade launcher, flame railgun, AMR. I need to go north. I'm gonna try to grab my auto cannon and then go back north. <laughs> Leaving old people behind, huh? You know I'm slow. No, Mr. President. <clears throat> An arc sniper that didn't arc on the first shot could be cool. That's interesting. Where's that backpack? What's that fucking backpack? Found something. I need a team Where is the fucking backpack, bro? Calling down a sentry. Delivering payload. Sentry. I'm getting shot through the rock. Uh, why can't the heavy devastator shield stand up to rockets, but ours can't? A portable support mortar would be cool. You know what I think would be cool right now? Joining the fray. Grabbing my fucking auto cannon backpack would be phenomenal right now. What the fuck, cannon turret? <laughs> Bro, can I stop ragdolling? My backpack is over here! There's my backpack! Alright, finally. Oh. That's interesting. No, why that way? No, bro, no! 
I think I have another auto cannon at this point. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just have another one. Jesus Christ. Democracy has landed. No, I don't have another auto cannon. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm gonna rage. <sighs> Requesting orbital. Drop ship. I need a lever gun to go with the revolver. Bro, this is ex this is exact This is exactly what happened to me last game, bro. I fucking died to a random ass cannon turret that I didn't even see. And then I couldn't pick up my damn auto cannon. I don't know why I Joining the fray. <laughs> Whoever spawned me over here, I'll never forgive you. Oh, we have another auto cannon soon. Bro, the problem is I somehow didn't pick up my damn backpack. And then I had to go run and get it. And then I died trying to get it because there were seven dropships there. And then this, and then that, and then you know the rest of the story. All right, do all, do all the side quests, guys. We got a full clear for max liberation status. My life for super. New mag. <clears throat> Lever action is in the game files. Yeah, but we don't know what's cut content as well. You gotta keep that in mind before you get excited for something. Tagging map, southeast, 300 meters. Tech back inbound. Dropping a pit, north, 50 meters. I think if we do side quests, that'll be good enough EXP. Marking location. Machine gun that held underhand and not shoulder over the shoulder. Pelican 1 approaching pickup. I got the target on. Preparing for touchdown. Calling in a hell bomb. <clears throat> Brawl for democracy. Arizona. In I like Arizona. Tagging map. West. Far. Bruh, how many times do I have to tell you? The president do Elba does what he wants. It would be crazy enough to cut the lever action. I noticed most of the ballistic weapons in this game are just a lot worse than the uh, energy weapons or laser weapons. Package acquired. Dropping package. Don't worry, guys. I'm doing two side objectives up here. Package acquired. Just give me a Dropping second. Package. Package acquired. Dropping package. Huh? Somebody spawn the president. Dropship. Package acquired. Somebody spawn the president and his lackey. Calling in reinforcements. Dropping package. Package acquired. <laughs> Someone give Joe his chocolate chocolate chip ice cream so he can finish the mission. Requesting orbital. 
He needs chocolate, chocolate chip. No! Why'd you do that? Who got in? You're banned. Joe! Why'd you go in? We're doing side missions. No, I just need to activate this. I wish they showed the radius of the orbitals and airstrikes on the minimap. <laughs> Bro said resign. Damn, they really do hire anyone. He didn't get his ice cream. <clears throat> if we do side quests, we get um, more liberation status. That's why I'm trying to do all the side quests. Technically, if we do bases as well, but I feel like if we want to move on, we could do just do side quests. I took up his new but very short life as a sea artillery spotter. Bro, I was almost done. I had a mini nuke in there too. I was gonna give you guys a mini nuke. Didn't you want to see a mini nuke explode? Too busy reminiscing about 1782. You make more of an impact with outside quests because you could drop more liberty. No, they changed it. If you get more completion and more EXP. I don't want to say it's tied to EXP, but from what I've seen, you could like think of it as it being tied to EXP. Mission coordinates locked. Help us prime. When was this changed? In the last patch. There was a reddit post of a data miner. Either the last patch or the patch before. Because it used to be just based on however many missions, so technically doing level 5 missions was the best way to go. Because they're easy. What about here? And you could just do them fast. <clears throat> but full clears are way more efficient now. Yeah, basically. Which is how it should be. Like, anything that wants you to play the game longer should reward you more. Like, all of my sample farm videos should not be a thing. Of course it's gonna happen, shit's gonna slip through the cracks. But when this game launched, like, anything that you could speedrun always gave you the best rewards for everything. Liberation, samples, medals. If you unalive with Scorcher. Hey, does anybody ever spawn into maps and terminate illegal broadcast just gets finished? Why does that happen? Does like an enemy just like kill it on accident? I'm landing in a detector tower. Alright, we pray to God. Nice! All right, cool. I got a det detector tower. Orbital inbound. That's crazy, I got sniped. I wonder if Bile Titan spawns and drops on them? Or chargers? Yeah, maybe it's a charger. That's been happening to me like a lot of missions though. I'll just spawn in and it says terminate illegal broadcast done. I have to, I have to definitely land kinda near it. Uh, Alright, I'm going south and I'm gonna clear as many bases as I can before dying. You guys go north and do that heavy base and those in the objective.
Dude, sniping those from across the map with a fucking auto cannon is pretty satisfying. New man. Bought out post. Bank shots are godlike, hell yeah. Tagging map, southeast. Oh, I got the radar dish. So there's an anti air? South, 100 meters. Requesting air support. Do I show is online? Uh, no. Just restart your game. Holy fucking this patrol, bro. Requesting air support. <clears throat> I'm doing the radar tower right now. Engaging terminal. I like the scorcher sights personally. I feel like it helps me line headshots. I notice you want to aim. You want to aim high though. Like you always want to aim high with pretty much every gun. Those are really shooting at me, bro. Like, I like how... I think I'm good here. Yo, you ready, bro? I'm on it. That was a good democracy. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the freaking radar tower. <clears throat> what the fuck? My look at my arm. Standing in an eagle. I thought I destroyed that. Oh, well. is there a stratagem jammer? Oh, it's an anti-air. Last reload. New man. Tagging looking. At least we get keyboard ASMR. The audio bug might be a PC thing, how frustrating. Wait, I don't have an audio bug right now, do I? Are we doing only bots tonight? Uh, I mean, we might have on bugs later. I'm kind of having fun doing bots, though. These matches are going pretty decently.
All right, I have one base left, and then I'm good. Reloading. <clears throat> Anyone know if mortars need normal bots to detect you before shooting at you? No. They they will literally they will literally trigger bots to come at you once they start targeting you even. Oh, that's not good. No, I'm fine. I got a resupply. Eat this! That bot just like live for a second. Requesting air support. Cool. Look, we cleared out this whole map pretty fucking fast. Literally, ten minutes? Wait, it took us ten minutes to damn near clear the, clear this whole map. <clears throat> Five out of four is wild. You know how I do that, right? Heavy. <laughs> Fifty meters. That works solo. Wait, what works solo? Wait, bruh crashed. That's unlucky. Dude, we are liberating the fucking creek right now, dude. Ten minutes, we did all objectives. Almost. As soon as we get this last one, we got it. Damn. I'm pretty sure bruh was holding that extraction for us. That sucks. I'll get that fabricator. I got it, I got it. All right, let's go. Ooh, we did it in 10 minutes. We had 12 seconds left. Drop near is what's blocking the supply line. No, that's what Joel wants you to think. Bruh, just said bruh. Uh, people liberating Creek, and then instead of going to drop near, they go to the other planet, because it has the major, major order symbol on it still. Creek takes priority, exactly. Creek always takes priority. Don't worry, I'll cry for you, bruh. Mortars have a range of 125 meters, okay. That's some more of the information. Coordinates received. This is Pelican One returning to extraction radius. Requesting air support. Delivering payload. Uh, don't we lose the creek automatically unless we take the creek? Like your math is all wrong, bro. Like, see, you're saying... <laughs> this is called creek crawling. <laughs> this is called creek crawling, chat. I want to put up a scarecrow so Pelican 1 thinks the Helldiver's at extraction. Northeast. Requesting advanced weaponry. Jesus Christ, that 500 kg lagged my shit. Hey, what up, Heroes Workshop? 
The Creek is and always was low key the bot's main stronghold. I only play the Creek. I ain't listening to the order. Fucking W. ETA, Bro, I'm trying to tell people. Joel. I'm trying to tell people Joel Joel wants us to not focus on the Creek. Why would they put a Discord message out there saying that uh, everybody's focusing on the Creek so we can't do the major order? Bro, that's bot propaganda 101. It's simple math. Haven't we learned we can't trust the devs? Especially Joel and his associates. I, like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's genuinely something at the end of the creek. Oh, how? Bro, your barrage hit me into the air and then sniped me out of the air. I literally got hit by two of them. All right, get the fuck in the ship. I swear to God, get the fuck in the drop ship. <laughs> I just got fucking Tekken comboed. Like at least 40k people in the creek thinking it's progressing. There is currently 80k people in the creek. Well, actually, we should check now. See, everybody on Ubania needs to leave Ubania and come to the creek. You actually got juggled. Bro, I... I, like, I don't know what it is with this guy. They'll leave once the order's gone. My barrages target everything that isn't, bruh. Look at that. Outstanding patriot. Alright, I can't talk. Nobody's on Ubania because we don't have drop near. I meant, I meant drop near. Uh... <laughs> Outstanding pronunciation. Thank you. People doing bugs need to man up and head over to the bots and push Creek. Dude, we gotta post some uh, bot builds. We gotta push the auto cannon meta. Dude, we full cleared that whole map in ten minutes. Eldiver, take command of the galaxy's liberation. Here, let's see where everyone's at. A battleground awaiting Creek numbers going down, 63k. I think it's just getting later though. Yeah, only 80k on drop near. Yeah, it's just it's just getting later. Operation accomplished. Mission coordinates locked. Quasar cannon brought me to bots and I'm here to stay. Engaging orbital thrusters. We can all agree to blame the bug people no matter what. Dude, I seen that meme where it was like um I see that meme where it was like uh, everybody blaming the Creekers for not taking drop near, and then it said, "Meanwhile, over 200k people always fighting bugs." Hello, chat. What's up, Shaz? How you doing today, bro? Hellpod launch initiated. Just hopped off the game, been playing all day, hell yeah. Quasar cannon's a better railgun. There's literally no reason to bring railgun ever again. True. Go now. And fear the shadow of death. Oh, you stopped a bot drop? Oh, you're a goat. Oh, wait, I don't have an auto cannon. We're doing a barrage. Uh, but we're losing all bug fronts. Rip. Uh, I'm going weast. I'm going west, and then I'm going south. Tagging map, northeast. Side objective meters. right there. Sending in an eagle, requesting orbital. Someone hit up that side objective if you get a chance. Tagging map, southwest, 300 meters. Bruh, can you help them north? Requesting air support. Sending in an eagle. 
Bro, can you help them north and then go hit this base after? And I will go south. I could probably solo that south one. Oh wait, they don't need help north. Okay, I'm a fucking liar. Side objective right there. Alright, I'm just gonna head south then. You guys get this medium base as well. Um, Ham Gerger, you want to get that side objective and that little base closest to you? Oh, I have the radar tower. Sending in an eagle. Bro, I think the guns follow the laser, the laser dot. I don't think it follows your reticle. Honestly, that's what I think it is. Mission at 10 minutes remaining. I swear it follows the, the laser and not the reticle. West, 50 meters. Requesting air support. What kind of trees in? We only have 34 likes. It's all good. Sample vacuum would go so hard. <laughs> A fucking sample vacuum stratagem. Shit. All right, Joe Biden, we need you to go east because Hamgurger is coming back over here. Joe Biden's in a fight. You just use first person. It feels pretty accurate. I don't like first person. I kind of disagree. The ball is way less accurate than me, just feeling the way the gun is facing, especially when aim punched. Mission map updated. Reinforcing. All right, let's go do this big ass base, and then maybe we could circle around up there. This is going to be tough, but I believe we could do all side objectives here. All right, that should be good enough. Let's go. Firing orbital barrage, clear the area. <laughs> that should be good enough. I'm watching it to see if I need to throw an airstrike in there. Yep, heavy base secured. You may proceed to extraction when ready. Watching a level 50 on Helldive stopping to call in strats makes me sad. Uh, I think some tuber found out most sites are set to be accurate at specific range. Wait, I'm air striking up there. No, 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 no. Have a taste of democracy. Orbital inbound. Ending in an eagle. All right, get the fuck out of here. Oh, I landed on a mine. That's so unfortunate. Bro, I was living and I land on a mine. I wish the hold R site always had fire rate and slight range, even if you can't change, just to know what's set to. Story of my life, true Adam. Democracy has landed. Ready to liberate. Rare sample acquired. Alright, we have six minutes. Do you think we could go all the way north to that fucking side objective? No driver left. 
<laughs> hey, you didn't take damage, you were stimmed. No, I thought I was far enough. Throw me, please. First rate is in the stat screens, but listing the site range would be nice. Uh, well, to be fair, we can just extract with like the auto extract. We don't actually need to click the extraction. Don't, uh, don't click the extraction. We're just gonna leave. I just finished a very difficult mission with one more Helldiver. We did great all objectives and he kicks me. That sucks. Dude, we did all objectives on our last Creek mission in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Just literally brought auto cannon and just spam shit. I don't know if that's actually doing it. That will. Not today! Hmm. Seems like I need armor pierce. Requesting orbital. Hamgurger just dived on a grenade for me. Freedom never sleeps! Alright, you guys figure that out. I'm going north. Oh shit! No, this... No, no! Hey, uh... Someone help me. Never mind, I have an eagle now. What the fuck? I'm fucking scared, bro. Alright, I have a plan. I'm gonna die. I want you to throw me as far north as, as far- like, throw me over the water. Throw me over the water. Throw us over the water, bruh. That's our only way to do this. We only have two minutes. We're gonna be out of orbitals. Just throw, just throw, just throw. All right, everybody go to that side of the water. We'll do it. I have throw armor. We got this. I have a plan, scream and cry. No, you threw a freaking 380 here. Why would you do that? There, there was one enemy left. <laughs> there was one enemy. The throw armor is fun for barrages. 
Alright, we just need this base. And then we need to get to... We can't die anymore. Or, I mean, you can right now. You're gonna die, do it now. We need that base. Thank you. I got it. I got that outpost. I'm hoping that eagle was good enough. Nice. Alright. Now we need to extract somehow. No, we're jammed. I can't bring you back. Oh, that's such an unfortunate ion storm. We were going to get max XP. Holy fuck. If you put a stratagem in your hand and the timer goes down, yeah, you can throw it. They see you, Joe you Biden. I don't care, we fucking did it. It's hell trying to make it across. Yeah, we just gotta go around. Do you get six squad impact or nine for full clears? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Are you traitor barraging? Oh. Oh, that's the Seath. That's kind of cool. I wish that actually took out dropships, though. Like, look at that shit. That's so sad. Fuck, we only have 30 seconds. Oh, awesome. I took a little bit of damage. My life for we can make it. We can oh, make it. At Come on, Joe Biden. We have like 30 more seconds. Falcon one, landing in progress. We can make it. Squad impact. Bro, come on. Oh my god, the Pelican got in the way. Go, go, go. Let's go! We full cleared it. <laughs> what does the Seaf Sam actually do? It shoot. It's supposed to shoot. It can shoot down dropships. It's just kind of inconsistent. Victory was never in doubt. <sighs> For those four minute extractions, I like to just go prone and hold my last orbital laser. Wait, that's actually a god tier strat. Hell yeah! Oh, dude. The sad thing is. The sad thing is, we only couldn't bring Bra back because the freaking Ion Storm. I had five seconds, and I got fucking stratagem fingers. Like, I could have done the reinforce. Let's go, Joe Brandon. Damn, we almost maxed out. Oh, who died then? Hamgurger? Oh, yeah, Hamgurger. Wait, how much stuff did we get? I wasn't even looking. Oh, it didn't tell us squad impact yet, huh? Yeah, no, that was unfortunate. The Ion Storm triggered the last five seconds. Let's go. We are Creakers. Three squad impact, dude. We should have had triple. Hell yeah. Many good hell divers today. Yes, we did. I only used four stratagems, apparently. That's crazy. Isn't it always three? I have no idea. I just play the game. 
They uh, to seek to this does it lower with the number of people attempt. online? Oh, I you guess I don't know. Stop them. 65. All right, we've watched Malevolent Creek go up 1% since we started playing. Should we just do more search and destroy missions? They're kind of faster. We near operational completion. Actually, we should probably just avoid geological survey. That's probably the longest one. Allied destroyer has left squadron. Joe Biden, you coming back? Help pods prime. Mission coordinate engaging. Bro, I want you to know I tried to handshake you. I'm on if you get a space. Let's see where Joe Biden went. He might have got off. Orbit. Synchronized. Joe went to sleep. All right, hop in, Labyrinth. Ugh. It goes up depending on what you do. I've seen six. It can be six. Huh. Can you invite me? Uh, maybe I need to restart my game. Yeah, let me restart real quick. Do 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 do. Do do. Do 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 do. Yo, drunk dunk. Thank you for the follow. Oh, you invited lab. Uh, he might not have been able to join, though. The Patriot of Patriotism. He might not have been able to join because if he's not showing up on my friends list, it might have been weird because I was the host. Higher difficulty and more objectives means more impact. Genshin impact. We can still wipe out the bots if the order isn't active. There's a graph that shows impact multiplier. And it seems to be inverse to player numbers. So the lower the player count, the higher the squad impact. Which makes sense for slow hours to keep a push. Okay, that's cool they added something like that. I was always wondering if they added anything like that. Super, Super Earth. Bro, I want another sick primary weapon that I really like using. Because to be honest, I just like using the Scorcher too much. Alright, I think we hot drop. That's why I got six earlier today when no one was on. Real Asian Robot did a video on it, on the squad impact. The bots can nuke the planet too and instantly take one to two liberation, which is annoying and cool. That armor makes you look like a Sith Lord. I love this armor. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. How about here? 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 Ha ha. Wait, not there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hot drop. We're gonna do this objective, and then we're gonna split into two groups. We're gonna go north and south. Uh, Eagle airstrike, Shmoto cannon, Shmorbital laser. Hot drop, let's fucking go. Honestly, I don't hot drop against bots that much. I always hot drop against bugs, every time. I don't give a fuck about a bug breach. It should make the Liberator concussive meta in the next balance patch. Let me knock over Hulks with it. Bro, give... Okay, listen, hear me out. Don't give the Liberator concussive any more damage. Keep it so that it can't kill anything. But make it so, just like you said, so that it could just fucking punch Hulks over. You could just shoot a tank across the map. Whenever you hit a charger with it, it just goes flying. But they just take no damage. Initiated. Liberator concussive is pretty good, not gonna lie. Wait till they fix the do you know, I liked the Dom the Dominator whenever I first used it. I don't think I've used it since then though. 
I love an April of Fools where the concussive just chucks things. Dominator's still solid. Where's my gravity hammer, R&D? What groups are we splitting to? <coughs> oh no, we hot dropping first. Okay. What the fuck, bruh? That drop scene never gets old. <laughs> Dude, I love hot dropping and just spinning in a circle and 360 killing everything. Dude, I was doing so well, no death on drop. And then it says you died to a barrage. Where is this guy? Me and Labyrinth go north. Come on, Lab. The shrapnel not just hunks of metal, yeah. There's a re I threw the resupply down in that base earlier if anyone needs it. Damn, me and Labyrinth got way more shit to do than you guys. You guys do have a side objective all the way over there. Uh, I think the most obvious balance changes that are needed are how to pr pr buff primary guns. Yeah, for sure. Labyrinth, you want to go northeast? This is just this is just a single frickin' tower. I got it. Oh, or not. Took a little too long. Reloading. Get some. Get some. It's people like you why we're losing the major order. How about the five hundred thousand people who only fight bugs? Ever think about that one? Also, you ever think that Joel doesn't want us to take Malevolon Creek for some reason? But maybe there's a conspiracy happening? That scared the shit out of me. I did not mean to shoot. Northwest, 200 meters.
We're taking the creek, boys. If you don't take the creek, then you're not a patriot. Spending 400 hours a week balancing primary guns. True Helldivers, I love auto cannon, Bro, I never really played that much auto cannon, But I gotta say, it's pretty fucking legit against bots. It feels really good to use. Uh, the bugs are there for fresh boot camp grad cadets to have something to do. Tell anyone over level 15 to head over to bots. Yo, bro, you reinforcing your boy Hamgurger? that up though but I am a fan of some good Arkin Are you going to test the new Silencer Liberator when it comes out? Yes. I was enjoying doing stealth runs. Alright, Labyrinth, you want to finish this? I'm going to go hit these side quests. We are in range of enemy artillery. Dropping a pin. Northeast. 100 meters. There's a radar tower here. Tagging map, west, 100 meters. Package acquired, Drop dropping package. Orbital inbound. I've got this one. Can I get like a freaking mini nuke or some shit? No. Uh, I saw that meme today too. I wish I was good enough to high level bots, no shield pack. I mean, I'm wearing 50% um, reduced to explosive damage. It works pretty well. Package acquired. Dropping package. I've got this Definitely one. doesn't feel bad. Bots, east. Package acquired. All right, keep in mind this Seaf artillery is pretty shit. It's like one explosive and then a bunch of static and napalm. I don't even think it's any explosive, I think it's just napalm. Spiked putting out a spear stealth run video was hilarious to see, not useful against bugs. Yeah, dude, I, I, I tested spear if you could stealth, if you could stealth a freaking, um, if you could stealth an outpost and I realized that they didn't really target you. Or, I'm sorry, if you could do it from, like, far enough Warning. that they would come to investigate, but they wouldn't really come after you. Tagging map. Southwest. 50 meters. Uh, I'll go get these mortars. You want to stop at the radar dish? Warning, you are in range Everyone I run with is not stealth. Yeah. Nah, it's tough to play stealth with, like, friends because they don't do it. Requesting air support! Requesting air support! Democracy's on its way! 
Objective located. North. <laughs> Alright, Labyrinth. You got radar and then head north to that escape pod. Oh, there's a flare. I'll spawn you back in in a second. Oh, what? What killed me, bro? Why does it feel like I got nuked? <laughs> Chat, could you tell I was fucking zoned in? Why did it feel like I got fucking nuked, bro? Ready to liberate. Oh, well, fuck. You were creaking out. Did you just take out the turret and the fab? No, uh... We, we, two, two of us spawned in there. Shit, I didn't think they were gonna see me.
No way, did I do a jetpack? These glory chasing creakers will never give in. Their selfishness amounts to treason. They allowed the fall of Dropnir and inevitably the Major Order. Fellas wouldn't even help on Ubania. No, you spawned me so far away. Democracy has landed. Reinforcing. Uh, we would have had Ubania if a few Creakers left, and they could have gone back while we got Tibet. You know what we could have done? Everybody go to Malevolon Creek. Remember when all the Malevolon Creek videos and memes came out calling everyone to the creek and nobody came? No one. We were left alone. On the creek. Just getting slaughtered by robots. But we didn't give in because our brothers died here. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't even on creek back then. But still, the point stands. The railgun can still one-shot hulks, just with a little bit off on safe. Hope this helps. How dare you shoot me with your fucking pistol. How do you think Hellmire people felt every time they lose the defense? That planet sucks. I don't mind Hellmire that much. Honestly, I just don't like the planets I can't fucking see on. Yo, Hamgurger, you good over there? Hellmire's the worst. At least that Devastator was man enough not to use his rocket. Bro, he shot me with his fucking pistol. I'm coming, Pookie. Alright, this is the last thing. You guys could go to extraction. Hellmire blows for visibility, they could have it. Yeah, that's the only thing uh, I don't like about Hellmire is the visibility. It sucks. The foggy planet's worse than Hellmire. Hellmire is really funny when you do evac and turn around a three tornado surrounding you and look up to see bile artillery closing in. Then you live anyway. Why do we need a fire tornado planet? We could let that go. Do the fire tornadoes at least also kill the bugs? Cool beans. Look at that full clear. Now we just all need to extract. Yeah, it's definitely less of an issue because of the bugs, but it's still nice to have visibility. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't play stealth, but I incorporate a lot of stealth mechanics into my gameplay. Full clear in 20 minutes. Dude, we did that last map in 10 minutes. Which was insane. Calling in extraction. Full clear with plenty of reinforcements on a bot mission. Hell yeah, lol. It's because autocannon is the truth. Also, you don't have to fight every bot. You just run in and do missions and only kill what you need to and then just dip. Like, when we're doing outposts, I just fucking run around with autocannon and then leave. Is this pro gaming? The fire tornadoes do fire damage, which does not discriminate. Yeah, 380 is the truth. Yeah, autocannon and 380. 380 goes fucking hard. Honestly, I'm gonna start bringing 380 over orbital laser. Does 380 kill detector towers? I don't see why it wouldn't, but I'm guessing, like, maybe two have to hit, which is probably hard. ETA, T -minus three minutes. I wish my teammates would take that advice. I feel like maybe it's not fun for people, but I find it fun to... Like, try to make it so no bug breaches spawn. That's fun for me. Hey, 
What the fuck? What the fuck hit me? I don't even know. One twenty being the daily was goaded. Can anyone else confirm Breaker is highest DPS primary? Uh. I know there's a chart somewhere. Actually, I think there's a chart in my Discord. I have it pinned in one of the channels. Jesus Christ. Uh, though with the nerf, Spray and Prey or Incendiary may have an edge. Nuking the shit out of the landing zone, and then we go. Get ready to go after that airstrike comes in. Three seconds. I'm throwing grenades. Oh, they all landed there. Oh, oh that is not good. Alright, wait. I'm going to throw you at the dropship at the last second. No. All right, go land on the dropship. Go, 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 go. Go land on the dropship. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh. Oh. No, I almost made it. <laughs> According to the stock, nothing comes close to Breaker. Oh, dude, we almost made it, guys. Dude, why'd they drop all the dropships on the freaking... I guess we didn't have to extract right then. Knight is in the top three? That's crazy. Breaker has terrible ammo management. Listen, stick your Breaker on semi-auto and thank me later. That's all you need to do. HMG felt unusable to me. On the bright side, the HMG made me try out the regular MG again, and I quite like it. Yeah, the regular MG is pretty much just better. Like, there are very few enemies that the HMG penetrates that the regular one doesn't. MG ammo pack. MG jetpack is goaded. You know why? Because you can jetpack reload it. Didn't you say you were going to use Ballistic Shield and Defender? Well, we're running Auto Cannon right now, which is our backpack. I tried HMG. It needs the double mag size to be effective. It shoots great. The damage is amazing. It feels powerful. It just needs more uptime. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. Like, bro, just reloading every freaking five seconds does not 
Feel good. Feels like you're playing Reload Simulator. Don't have to worry about breaker ammo if you run supply pack like a real gamer. Well, that's why people don't like the breaker. The same reason we're talking about the heavy machine gun. It's that, um... It's the reload, like, times. It doesn't feel good to a lot of people. Which, fair enough. But the breaker's not nearly as bad as the heavy machine gun, for example. With HMG, it shouldn't have half mag of MG and a longer reload. That drum is massive. Even at 50 cal, you could easily run 100, 150 rounds per drum. I think what everybody wanted was a belt fed on a backpack. Like, if you had to wear a backpack with it, but it just belt feeds all the ammo, and then when you're out, <laughs> like, you just need a resupply to refill it. That's what people really wanted. Anderson, I saw a clip of it. I didn't actually try it. Just keep that in mind, but go try it. That's why I like the breaker with the arc, because you don't need all the ammo. Minigun would be amazing. I think that's what everyone everyone wanted the the heavy machine gun to do, but the like the heavy machine gun does listen, I'll tell you what. Give the heavy machine gun true heavy armor pen. And that would be fine. But it doesn't have true heavy armor pen. It has medium armor pen. Which is just sad. Oh god. Rolling down supply. I don't know why I threw a grenade at that. Requesting air support. New man. Requesting air support. The ammo economy's horrible. Is that a heavy machine gun I see? This guy. Uh I'm gonna go for those mortars. All right, I'm gonna go this way for the mortars. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Sending in an eagle. How'd you like to take some freedom? Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. HMG's OP with heavy armor pen. Not if you have to reload it every five seconds. Also, like, just the ammo economy on it in general is horrible. Like, tell me how Quasar Cannon having unlimited ammo and can two-shot Bio Titans, that being able to clip them with a heavy machine gun would be broken. It wouldn't. HMG, the one time I used it felt great on Bile Spears and Hive Guards, but there are primaries to fill what the HMG does. Damn, I almost walked over a fucking. Marking location. Northeast. Never mind. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Marking location. Cancel that. Got a sample. Speaking of sites that are off, HMG's way off. Yeah, I think everything's just off, bro. No! Oh my god, that was a pro mine dodge. You guys will never see anybody dodge a mine like I just did. Reinforcing! Dropping a pin. East, 50 Ooh, meters. Radar dish. Fuck, there's a patrol coming into this mine, to this radar dish. So close. <laughs> you will never see a single person. Alright, 
Alright, fuck this. Requesting orbital. Tagging map. West. 200 meters. Um, I was gonna say we should have split off into groups and two people go north. Because we have that whole side objective and that, like, heavy base up there. Oh. Randomly terminated an illegal broadcast, I guess. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> My legs, but I love <laughs> Yo, you guys better go prone. I just saw those two patrols on you. You might as well just go prone. Democracy has landed. Calling in reinforcements. Warning, you are in range of There's enemy more attack. fucking mortars, bro. Right, I'm doing this radar dish. Hold on. Rule number one of barrages, you will die to it. Bro, it felt like I was far enough. Can I see the mortar from here? Tagging map. North. 200 meters. Don't think I can. I'll take it. Wait, what is that? What'd you mark? Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Whatever, I'm shooting. Tagging location. Oh my god! Auto cannon. Auto cannon slaps. <laughs> Wait, that that went hard. That went fucking hard, bro. That was crazy. All right, labyrinth. Let's get the west side. West side. Reinforcing. Five head barrage strat. Just go to where last orbital hit and dodge them all. The true anti-material rifle. This way. All right, I don't need that resupply. I'll be fine. The shield barrage strat looks great. Shield barrage. Oh, Seven like ten. uh, shield pack. Yeah. Dude, that was that was goat. That was actually insane. <laughs> you just need someone to get close enough to mark it, and then you can smack it with frickin' auto cannon. Yeah, yeah, the shield gen with a barrage. Seen a video of a team running all shield battery and barrages seemed fun. If we get four stratagems, we could try that. Reginald did a video on it. Drop ships. Okay, but who the hell is Reginald? Oh, what the hell? Just the channel name. It was versus bugs, and the bugs all charge them in their little bubble while the barrage comes in. Where th they were using the shield generator relays. I'm guessing. Requesting air support. Attack underway. Dropping a pin. North, 200 meters. Wee, 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 wee. Scorcher's so good, they better never touch it. Honestly, they better buff other primaries to feel as good. Explosive damage in this game is fucking OP, bro. 
Like, it's the wave. It was the same in Borderlands, too. Requesting tack -tack. Mostly. Not always. But anytime you could add splash damage onto something, where are you going, Labyrinth? What? I clicked reload, bro. If you if you pop the big shield at the right time, it can reflect Bile Titan spew. Titan will kill itself with its own puke. It ain't easy. I pulled it off once. Where's my hell bomb? All right, time to go, time to go. I'm starting again. Oh god, I hope they don't destroy it. Just greeted the shit out of that resupply. Dropping a pin, southwest, 300 meters. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we never got that side objective. That's awkward. Oh, that's all bruiser. Uh, still waiting on the tutorial videos. I love the no hell bomb on high ground. Oh, that juke! 
<laughs> Come on, chat. Come on. <laughs> I probably just juked the whole fucking rocket barrage. Bro, I can't see these bots over your fucking nameplates. Yo, that movement is ridiculous. <laughs> What are you doing there? The Matrix dodge, Jesus. Oh yeah, we're trying to go fucking south. Actually, Labyrinth, let's just go uh, east because it looks like they're going to the objective. The trust that none of them would hit the ground if you dodge them. <laughs> Bro, they shoot them directly at you, to be fair. I don't think I've ever had a rocket hit the ground on me. They always fucking shoot them directly at my face. Calling down objective equipment. Oh my god, bro. I just... Like... I literally shoot those flying bugs out of the air with the, with the Scorcher, but I just can't hit bots sometimes with it. I don't know what it is. Package acquired. Drop in package. That's crazy. I did not know there were two hulks behind me. Give me one second, Labyrinth. No! No, not behind me. Let me pick up my shit. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. That's so crazy, bro. I didn't even mean to dodge. I'm not going to lie. Yo, Space Trump. Back to the creek. Balls deep. Hey, Labyrinth. You, uh, there's a dude on you. Joining the fray. What's with the Scorcher and the one-shot reloads it does every now and then? Is there a cause? Every single gun in this game, if you reload it too early, it'll waste a mag. Or if, like, you start shooting too early or some shit. It, like, auto-wastes a mag. It's really annoying. You know, I realized I was doing that, like, an insane amount in my recoilless rifle solo run last night. And it made me realize... That recoilless rifle ammo is not that fucking bad if I waste, like, a quarter of my ammo on accident. Like, how bad can the ammo economy really be? To be fair, it was solo. I understand when you're sharing resupplies with your teammates, it gets rough. What the fuck? Oh my goodness.
Bro, it is hard to click Hulk eyes, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, we're all together. I'm calling a resupply. Oh. Thank you. Who's wearing that supply pack? Uh, anyone else notice if there's two plus bot drops that the second is usually the tank? Yeah, I think so. Sounds about right to me. That's crazy, I wasn't even looking over there. And if there are three bot drops, <laughs> it's 7,500 hulks. Yeah, that sounds about right. Point me to the enemy. Say hello to democracy. Man, that 20 minutes remaining. Bro, I think bugs are easier to shoot because they're fat. These little skinny ass robots are actually tough targets. Uh, when I'm at long objectives, like the mineral scan, I like to call a second Quasar and just loop them. Yeah, that's lit. Hey, there's a patrol. East. God damn it. A 380 looking a little snug to the objective. I tried throwing it far enough. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Copa, why would you jinx me like that? This dude. I blame you, Copa. That's got to be your fault, bro. Literally the timing, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I threw it far enough. Nah, 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 nah. It's not a jinx, I just know these things. Uh, all right, cool. We're finally chilling.
Oops. Alright, that's not true Creaker. Creaker activity. I checked Helldivers Reddit, all the blame is so cringe. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to be the face of Helldiver Reddit. They're gonna be like, This YouTuber said, let's go take the creek. Real Helldivers! <laughs> I should make a Helldivers lore video on why we should be focusing on Malevolent Creek. Reloading. Oh, I did not mean to dodge that way. What's the 380 barrage radius? I try to stay 80 meters away, but I don't know the actual safe range. I'm pretty sure it's like 130 meters. No, maybe 130 is too far. I feel like 80 should maybe be fine. There is no safe range you will get hit. Does anybody know Joel's public Twitter? So that I can go search it to see if he tells people not to take Malevolent Creek. I love the overworld for this game so much, hell yeah. One of the things that sold me on it. Yeah, the lore for this game is pretty great. Damn, this was a long ass mission, bro. I usually clear these out in like 10 minutes. Uh, Joel played us like a puppet. We would have won if we didn't need to split drop near. If we defended drop near, we would still be on path. But people ignored it to hamfist the order. That's how I feel as well. I feel like there's some stuff we could talk about when it comes to players getting split up for the major order. That could make an interesting video. Yo, did the lights fucking turn on? Who turned on the lights? We would have won if the other planets went to Dropnir and Ubania. Requesting air support. Dude, auto cannon's just so nice because it stuns them. That stun is so nice. Couldn't pay me to go back to Dropnir. Uh, I'm sick of that place. I spent the better part of a month fighting on there. Wait, fighting on Space Ireland. Everyone talks about the creek, but Drachnir took forever to liberate. I think people overreacting to splitting up causing extra patrols because the game's still limited to one area dropping breaching. Yeah, I would say, like, patrols aren't as big of a deal. It's really bot drops and bug breaches. I fully agree with that. Like, like, a patrol can definitely fuck you up, don't get me wrong, but I would say the main aspect of a patrol fucking you up is that they're gonna trigger a drop or a breach. I, I would say that two groups of two, or, or just two groups in general, is like the best way to run missions. It's like the fastest clear and all that. Calling down Did you try railgun on bots? No. Calling in extraction. <laughs> yeah, fellow Creek brothers, yeah. Yeah, welcome to the Creek. Dude, it's just a fist bump. Thank God I stimmed, because you fucking hit me in the head with that melee. Orbital 
Oh. I like that system. <laughs> but the railgun doesn't need a backpack. Wait, what were we comparing it to? Oh, I'm using auto cannon to take out. Um, Railgun's more comparable to quasar cannon. I'm using I'm using auto cannon to take out uh, thingies to take out fabricators. It's an oversimplification, but bots are harder than bugs. Yeah, they definitely are. Sweet brow moment. To be fair, that was my 380. Point me to the enemy. Jesus, Labyrinth. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what happened. It's actually insane how many support weapons kind of become obsolete when you consider how good Quasar is. Uh, Quasar cannon shoots slower. Give me the backpack. Also, like, you definitely want someone with auto cannon or grenade launcher just for like fabricators, bug holes, all that good stuff. That was a nice Hulk kill. Hulks can be tough to kill with this. Also, like, someone mentioned earlier that if you miss a shot with Quasar, you don't waste the ammo. But if you miss a shot with Quasar, you're waiting 13 seconds before you can shoot again. I need some fucking cover, bro. Let's clear this out. I want everybody to extra extract. What? I thought I hit him twice in the eye. Nice. <clears throat> Hold on, don't worry. I have a 380 barrage soon. <laughs> Or I'm stunning shit. Get to the pelican. Never mind. Don't get to the pelican. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Being on Malevolent Creek right now is the most useless thing you can do. No, it's not. We're taking the creek. This is the true target of Joel all along. And you guys are falling for the propaganda. Everyone knows Joel wants the creek. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know what I'm looking at, but this shit's crazy. All right, get to the fucking ship. Oh my god. 
Amazing! No, <laughs> we can't, bro. Why didn't it land that facing that way? <laughs> bro, the fucking pelican is facing the wrong way, dude. We had no chance. Automatons aren't much harder than bugs. You just have to play differently. They're definitely harder because they shoot you. I would say the hardest thing that bugs throw at you is when there is a swarm of 15 hunters or stalkers. Hunters and stalkers is probably the hardest thing to do against bugs. But a lot of the times you can, if you can pop stems, you can kind of just survive. This is the mentality that lost us, Ubania. Did I say someone else can deal with Dropnir? Did I say that? Because I don't think that I did. I think what I said was, Joel doesn't want us to take the creek. And we need to take the creek. Creekers are on the creek. If, if everybody from Ubania came over to the creek, then we would also be there. Bots are far harder once you get into any sort of crossfire. Yeah, especially if they uh, if they get you from the front and the back. Many sacrifices were made today. We will never. They have bullets, motherfuckers, when they hide behind a rock. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. <clears throat> I'm going to make a YouTube video tonight on why we need to ignore the major order and take the creek because I think there's multiple good reasonings for why. The fact they got wall hacks. Yeah, once they fix the wall hacks though, they'll be normal. <coughs> Once they fix the wall hacks, it'll be normal. Uh, supply line one reason right there. They seem to always know your location even before, de before detecting you. That's, see, the other thing, uh, Adam, is actually the bugs are the same exact way. The bugs can hit you through mountains. Like, I've had Bile Titan Spit hit me through a rock or a mountain. And they also have patrols walk directly up to you. It's just that since bots fight you from a range, it feels a lot worse when they abuse that stuff. Bots are definitely harder than bugs. Morale is high in the creek. I'm staying there. Does anybody have Joel's Twitter? I need Joel's Twitter. I need to see if he talked about the creek on his Twitter. Does he talk in the Discord? What's his Discord username as well? Wait, let me look at the Discord. AH developers. What's Joel's social security number? Y'all can argue till you're blue in the face, but it's already too far gone to win this order. May as well hunt the creek regardless. Listen, you gotta understand that the devs of this game don't always want us to win the major orders. They do things and they urge us to take specific paths and specific routes because it creates a narrative and it creates a story. And the narrative that they have quite literally created was... <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too fun not to do that to you, Hamburger. And the, but the narrative they've created is... Uh, is uh, people on the creek... Are like holding us back, right? That's what they've said. They literally, uh, what, put that in the Discord? Zoinks? Sounds like we need to take the creek then. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
Don't touch me, meat saw. Greek dwellers are like less than 10% of the force though. That's definitely the other thing. You just gave us more incentive to take the creek. Where did he admit that, by the way? You said he admitted to saying that. Where did he admit that? What are, what are like his socials? Because I want to make a video on this and talk about it. I think it would be interesting. Mission at 10 minutes remaining. Shit. I really wanted that airstrike over there. There's a massive D&D campaign. We're going off script as Joel is going to have to react. You can shoot the front of those with Quasar Cannon. I don't know if you saw my video. I'm gonna retire and open a bar in the creek. Alright, where are we going? Uh, remember taking a break. Is to be remembered as a coward. Coward. Once the creek is taken, the creekers will find the next impossible planet to conquer. That's the whole other thing, too. Is all of the creekers are all of the fucking hardcore grinders. Like, we want to take the creek to get those people to move on to the next planet. Because they are hardcore, bro. Creek is life. Do, 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 have you guys not seen the memes that's come out about Malevolon Creek? Like, you gotta understand the power of memes. It is stronger than anybody cares about a major order. They made it so the creek has the highest decrease, liberty decrease rate. You are hurting the campaign. You may proceed to extraction when ready. The creek has already changed thick. They should make a creek crawler vet cape or something like armor. I'm wearing my bot slayer armor and look, it's covered in oil right now. Actually, it's covered in my blood, which is even more democratic. Warning, you are in range of enemy Motherfucker, there's enemy artillery here. Are the constant 10k on Hellmire not hardcore grinders? Yeah, but we're talking about the bot grinders. My airstrike didn't take out that area. Oh wait, I have to stay here. <clears throat> Yo, Ice, where did Joel admit that he made the creek order? I would like to see that. Requesting orbital strike. Yo, Adam with the two bucks. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you.
Do you have Discord? Yeah, exclamation point Discord. Creek crawler sub faction should become an actual thing. Just make an in-lore subgroup that Super Earth is afraid of because they're kind of loose cannons. Oh! If we complete part two, the third part will most likely be Malevolon, Durgan, and Maya. Bro, the other thing is, as soon as we beat the Creek, they're bringing it right back in a defend mission. That's the scary part. That's the part none of the Creekers are ready for. I don't know why I threw that 380, but I did. No way. That's so annoying. What's Creek percent? 60... Oh, 67. Yeah, I was at 65 last time I checked. Something will stop us from eradicating them, like the automaton's got a new strong unit. There's no wo voice warning, though. Thank you. Yo, why do those alerts come in so late? Yo, thank you for the $2, Adam. Oh, this turret turns this way. ETA, T minus one minute. <laughs> Wait, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see him, Gurger. <laughs> you fucker. Why would you punch me that hard, bro? He one shot me. Clear the landing zone. Go, 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 go. Get to the chopper. Reinforcing. Oh. <laughs> Get in, bruh. Get in. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Uh, we have like two weeks before the next war bond hit, so there's plenty of time to grind out metals. Missing one order is not the end of the world. Three days ago on the Facebook, they posted a remember the creek image and told us to go there. To be fair, I think they did that for memory, just because they knew everyone's leaned into the Malevolon Creek memes. Sometimes you have to lose the battle to win the war. Is the 11th a second Thursday? Let's see. Yes, it is. Hey, that's my birthday. The new war bond comes out on my birthday. Ice has no chill, which is ironic.
Keep it up, and pretty soon there won't be any bots left. Just managed to Aw, oh, snap. Well, it's not my birthday yet. Not till the war button comes out, guys. Damn, that's my that's crazy it's my birthday soon. I didn't really think about that. What is Joel's Twitter? Uh, you can't send links in chat, but if you just send his username. The enemy has launched a surprise attack on one of our planets. It needs our aid. The day of the eclipse, they're gonna drop something bad while the player counts are down. Hey, listen. We got other shit to worry about on the eclipse, maybe. Damn, geological survey. I couldn't find Joel's Twitter. They probably have a ton of stuff in the tube ready to go for this game, which is honestly good for them. This is such a cool way to pace a live service game. I was hoping we'd get another balance update, like, pretty soon, though. Feels like it's been a while. What about here? Here? Joel doesn't have a Twitter, okay. What about here? I know time locking content is usually frowned upon, but the way HD2 has done, it's actually a good strategy. Oh, should we look at the progression real quick? No. Let's just go. We're already here. Mm. I like laser a lot, but I feel like 380 just kind of takes more shit out. But laser is definitely dope because it focuses the heavy targets. Guys, we don't need both reinforcement boosters. We don't. We usually clear these long missions. I would rather have help pot optimization, stamina, ye. People are on Creek because they might not be aware. Oh no, most of the people on Creek are aware. We're just taking the Creek. There's just meaning in the Creek because the slaughter. I would say most people are aware. I mean, I'm sure there's people who aren't aware. But, I mean, people know there's major orders. I for gore. I found an article about Joel fucking with the creek. Alright, you can't send links in here. I tried turning it on on YouTube. But if you hit exclamation point Discord and join my Discord, I'll look at it. The fate of all humanity's children are in your hands. Requesting orbital! Do not all right. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> All right, time to get the fuck out of there. Day one, Creek. Let's go, box. Requesting air support. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Unleashing democracy. Oh, I stunned you. I literally stunned his ass. Don't forget to color your grenades like Easter eggs. Oh yeah, it's Easter, isn't it? Happy Easter, guys. Damn, this thing bounces off the front. That swing did not hit you the fuck. Uh, all I know is I fucking stunned that dude. But he just was not stunned. Alright, where's all the damn mini nukes? Oh, what the hell? There's a cannon turret here. Alright. Mini nuke! Beat him up. Beat his ass. Get back here.
I spent all DA in the creek and it's rough. What up, Faceless? Hey, we got two mini nukes. Let's fucking go. Anyone ever seen three mini nukes? Oh, do I have the story for you? We had three mini nukes and I lined them all up on the ground. Like, you know how you line them all up on the ground and then you go activate the terminal? One of them got fucking stuck in the ground. I was so mad. Uh, I'm gonna go south alone. Nobody follow me. And then I'm gonna run to the mainland. You guys go take out outposts and we'll meet south. I sent you two articles about Joel making the creek way harder. Thank you. Appreciate that. Don't really care about that, dude. Dropping a pin. Southwest. 300 meters. Another triumph from managed democracy. Managed Man democracy. Guy. <laughs> you guys used a mini nuke? That's lit. Reloading. There's a thing where shells can't be picked up if you try to pick it up while the player is falling. I've had to put it in several smokes because I spam E too fast. Uh, I don't know if that's what it was. Maybe. Oops. It's like how POI stuff, no, there wasn't even an E. Like, yeah, we just literally could not pick it up anymore. It was shady. I was pissed. Because I wanted to be able to throw three mini nukes that game. I didn't even care about like having the damage. I just wanted to see three mini nukes. Like, I just prefer the visuals. All right, we're full clear in this map, by the way, guys. Requesting orbital strike. All right, let me get that last mini nuke. Don't use it. I want it. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Objective located. West. On my way. Engaging. I'll take it. Oh, the pickup stops showing up. Uh, I was thinking about things they could do, and honestly, I don't know how I'd feel about them. I think crossovers would be good. People are against crossovers a lot of the time, but I think it would be really good for this game. I also think they should do a lot better on their cosmetics so that they can make more money from microtransactions. Because microtransactions ain't a bad thing, and with how cheap they are in this game, it's definitely not a bad thing. And they can make a lot of money that way. Oh, this base is done. Why is there a fucking minefield here? Oh god, I'm pretty sure I needed to go south. Waiting for the 40k crossover. Crossovers are ads and ads are gay. Tron could be a cool crossover. Yeah, I think it would just depend what, like, how they wanted to do it. It could be really good. Heavy northeast on my position. Engaging. I'll take it. Uh, 
Halo wind up making their own version of this game, they definitely won't cross over. True. Somebody reinforce your boy, bruh. I like the references, like the Twitch drop armor, but a crossover would be meh. I wouldn't be surprised seeing a COD battlefield. I would rather them do like, yo Labyrinth, can you reinforce or no? Reinforcing! I would rather them do, um, not necessarily other games. Oh shit, I wanted to go the other way. That would also be cool. I want them to split armor into helmets, arms, torso, legs. I don't know about arms and legs, but we definitely need we definitely need specific helmets. I don't get how there's not like specific ass helmets. Alright, I'm gonna leave this area and come back. This game gives me gray hair. Do we get all the side objectives? One, two, <coughs> three, four. We're missing a side objective. Tagging map, east, far. Tagging map, southeast, far. Whoops. <laughs> I'm down for helmets to be all cosmetic, but please, for the love of God, remove headshots. Nah, I would rather have some more customizations than less. <clears throat> like different effects and stuff on helmets. But then they need to add the option to switch color on armors and shit. Weapon attachments have been leaked. Yeah, I'm fucking waiting for weapon attachments. That shit's gonna be amazing. Like, bro, imagine Breaker Spray and Prey with a freaking FMJ on it. That would be ridiculous. A freaking hell bomb was there, bro. 
There was a random ass L bomb. Reduced headshot helmet, and I'm not gonna run anything else. Well, listen, as long as you can put the color you want on it, then that'll be fine. Joining the fray. Didn't they say that uh, they wanted to do like colors and, or they, they scrapped some more of the cosmetic customizations for reasons unknown? That's crazy. It's gonna be on the heavy padded armor helmet. I'm gonna be forced to be ugly forever. Oh, I was surprised you melee that guy because I needed to shoot them and move on. If the door is open to crossovers for shekels, you're just pissing on the lore. Mmm, yes, shot through the rock. No, I wasn't shot through the rock. I was, uh... <clears throat> I got, uh... Hit by blast radius. Which was on the other side of the rock. The rock. On the block. You guys have got patrols coming that way. the last building here. Calling down a support weapon. What the hell? Am I tripping? Oh, there it is. Nice. I triggered a bot drop over here. I don't like it when everything feels so random. Walkers walking without a driver? I've never seen that, but that sounds funny. You guys have Seaf artillery, by the way. I don't like it whenever- oh, yeah, yeah. The infighting in Helldivers 2 Discord's wild seems like exactly what Joel wanted. This is what he wanted. Oh. There's a Hulk boyo. There's a resupply down over there. I'm coming. My top is when you saw a Zerker in half and the legs don't fall down, it keeps walking. jammed. Where's the resupply? I need stems. Well, that bot drops far as shit away. That's good. Oh! I fucking crouched that! Sending in an eagle! Calling in reinforcements! Attack underway! ETA T minus 
Bitch, throw! Pelican 1, landing in progress. Calling in orbital. Uh -huh. Stand up! Alright, that works. I'm coming. Oh no! There's no way. <laughs> we need a hacker class to go against these robots, hack their system, and turn them against themselves. That would be dope. Like a stratagem that took control of enemies, a group of enemies. Which had like maybe a gas strike or EMS radius for let's say 10 15 seconds. That would be dope. When you try to dive past your teammate shooting just to go face first into his bullets. Well, don't dive past your teammate, bro. Why am I actually having fun on bots? Because bots are fun. I hate that little lip on the pelican, bro. Why is that there? Somebody tell me why that lip even exists. One guy puts the pack on, rest of the team gets four stratagems. A backpack stratagem that bypasses the three stratagem lockout when equipped. It's a trap. Proud, sir, by your side, sir. All right. All right, let's see where the crick is at now. Bro, stop shooting me. What time is it? Oh, only 2 a.m. I felt like it was a lot later. Every sector in the galaxy must be uh, heard of the 67.5. Only 40k people online now. Same with drop near. Seems like people are logging off for the night. 53 on Astanu. Yeah, player count's a little low right now. So where are we supposed to go? Tibet? Where the hell is Tibet? Oh, down here. So question, what is the supply line anyway? Does Creek lead to Durgan? Is that what's going on here? Creek leads to Durgan, which then leads to Ubania. Anyone know the max super credit count? Nope. Creek to Durgan. And nothing else. Well done, Heldite. Durgan goes to Obania. Alright, I'm about to bring Recoilless Rifle for this mission. Orbit synchronized. Do do do, do do do. Uh, I think I'm gonna go laser as well. Bro, what is that loadout? <laughs> HMG turret, shield relay, ballistic shield? Or is that supply pack? 
Bro, what is what is what what is this guy doing? Does anybody know what this guy's doing? Putting the auto cannon away. Yeah, cuz the geological surveys um spawn drop ships, so I'm going to shoot them down. Trust the bra strats, bro. I'm just so confused. <laughs> I've never seen a loadout like that. <coughs> bro, trying to get a new build video. Dude, the the bra the bra raj build is actually legit meta OP. We've literally been running it on every. Uh, well, it's already, it's already the meta for eradicate. Like it's just so simple to clear eradicate. It's just die respawn spawn barrage. But it's also very strong for blitzes. So for those two missions specifically, the bra build is definitely a meta setup. And that's what people don't understand. We hot dropped, by the way. All the galaxy looks to you for salvation. Calling Let down support weapon. Stand in the way of liberty. Throwing supply beam. Calling down fortification. Going down objective equipment. I think shield relay has a has a time limit on it. So you maybe should have spawned that last. I'll handle the terminal. All right, come on, hamburger. Performing assisted reload. Where's the bot drops coming from? Bye bye. Bye bye. Hop on, hop on, hop on. I'm out. Alright, I'll get on yours, I'll get on yours. Just spam it at them. Fuck it. Just shoot. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I don't even care it didn't kill the enemies in there. That was amazing. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't have any ammo in my recoilers. Shit. Shit. Where's my quasar cannon? I'm out of ammo. <laughs> Bro, now imagine the day they make it so that shit actually dies when you shoot down the dropship. We'll be good. Alright, somebody hit the terminal. Alright, that was lit. <laughs> Bro, that gave me a feeling like no other. I'm, j I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Alright, we probably aren't full clearing this. Drop near has a free quasar as a mission stratagem for real. All right, maybe we should go to drop near. Oh, there's a patrol. Marking location west. I have one eagle airstrike for him.
<laughs> Bro, I don't think anything's ever given me a feeling like that in this game than that moment right there. That's probably the best I've ever felt playing this game. You can't leave the creek. I haven't played in like five hours. I don't know if it's still there. It's probably there for the rest of the major order. Hey, ammo over here. Isn't there a recoilless rifle, dude? Supplies. <clears throat> RR's democracy per second is unmatched. I don't think I've ever felt that good playing this game. Genuinely. Dropping a pin. Northwest. <laughs> dude, we shot down every dropship. <laughs> nice melee headshot. More ammo on me, if you need ammo. There's probably stims here, I don't know though. Uh... Stimming you. Thank you! Thank you! If you have either two people or quasars, you could do that too. I'm not trying to bash recoilless rifle. Can you though? Because what, it takes 13 seconds to shoot a quasar? Can you do that? Is that true? I felt good just watching that, dude. That was epic. That was like the epic of Gilgamesh. All right, we gotta get like dead on fucking, I don't know why rockets don't kill these. Oh, that's a devastator. Pick up other Quasar as soon as you shoot one. The cooldown works out with the timing of the drop ships. You think the Quasar is easier to miss? I feel like the Quasar is easier to shoot. The Quasar is like hit scan. I'm out of stims, I'm scared. Uh, northwest, guys, northwest, 315. Quasar has a smaller blast radius, does it? Oh shit, can we even call down the objective? Quasar hits exactly where you aim with no travel time and has a bigger hitbox. The wind up for Quasar makes it difficult to hit a moving target. That's true. That's definitely true. Ooh. What's our cooldown on recoilless rifles? I thought it's like eight minutes. Dropping a pin. East far. Um Check 
Hold on, let's don't don't hit that yet. We have to deal with these patrols because they're they're like lasered on us right now. Sending in an eagle. Bro. No, unlucky. I love that you could just scoop nades back at bots. Did you know you can throw your own grenades back too? Like you could pick it, you could throw a grenade and then throw it again. Reporting to the front. God damn, bro, there's so many rockets. All right. Now we have a patrol coming from north. I'm gonna go cut them off with an eagle airstrike. Uh, yeah. Requesting air support! Shoot him in the back, shoot him in the back, shoot him in the back. There we go. Well, he's gonna take a second to die. Now we have a patrol coming in from the east. You know, I'm starting to think we should just call the fucking thing and shoot all the dropships down. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hit this resupply and then hit the terminal. Five seconds. What the fuck? Oh, you called the terminal.
fuck, I missed the eye. The eye of Agamemnon. The fuck? They're everywhere. Calling in reinforcements. Requesting orbital. Firing orbital laser. Request approved. Requesting air support. That's crazy. Oh. Uh, I would love if they got rid of the reticle wiggle on charge up from the quasar. That crossfire. <laughs> Bro, they're everywhere. Damn, we weren't ready for that those call downs. I didn't know you called it. Calling in reinforcements. Crossfire plus flame brute chasing you is always fun. Yer. Hamburger, you spawned on a frickin' airstrike. I guess you lived. Team reload required. What? I have no ammo. I need a team Me too! I got the There's another recoilless rifle backpack reload. around here somewhere. I hate when you like get smushed on the ground and live because it's just such a false hope feeling. It's such a false hope feeling. Good thing ammo backpacks don't explode when shot. Three rockets in succession before you have to reload. The railgun nerf makes less sense after the Quasar. I'm going back. Did that actually kill the Hulk, though? Bro, I wish Hulks weren't standing so that it could be easier to actually fucking hit them with shit. Imagine if our jetpacks exploded like theirs did. Bro, that would suck. That's crazy. I'm bleeding out. <laughs> I'm doing some dumb shit. I'm doing some dumb shit. <clears throat> Bro, imagine Hulk visors being like just a smidge taller. Don't get on the terminal. Oh my god, we weren't ready, bro. I want to shoot down all the dropships again. That's my only reason for being alive right now. Oh, 
It's fine. I didn't want to live anyway. What do you mean trust? I want to shoot my recoilless rifle too. Differentiate it more from the energy shield and make it more useful. Jump pack, ballistic would go crazy. <clears throat> what if there was an armor that lets you wear two backpack? That would be broken. Chad, I'm depressed. I'm just constantly chasing that high that I'll never get back. Imagine melee weapons where they gave you a lightsaber. Yeah. Back, back, pack, but in return you can't sprint. Ah, uh, would you trade that? <clears throat> so is this shield thing just invincible, or does it have health? <laughs> no, you wouldn't even trade that. Death Stranding style, huge backpack. Oh, it does have health? Okay. How about a hunchback backpack, but you can't carry any support weapon? Two backpack, but no support weapon. Both guard dogs, I might take that trade. I would wear two backpacks for a support weapon. Maybe not every run, but I would do that. <clears throat> I'm honestly glad we lost. Yo, that 50% armor is crazy. I'm glad we lost because after we literally mowed down every dropship, the first objective, you guys didn't wait for us to set up to do that the second or the third. And I'm a little bit salty. <laughs> Yo, why'd you still live? I'm sorry. No, it's too late. Point me to the enemy. <clears throat> Eat this! Eat this! Average day in the creek. Dual wielded one handed weapons. Requesting air support. What the fuck is this? Like the taste of freedom. 
one button according to APOC. Yeah, no, I'm running. You know, if we shot down every dropship, we wouldn't be having this problem. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Alright, I'm less salty now. I'm not going to lie. I'm a lot less salty now. <laughs> Mobile defense backpack, you stop and throw down a little defensive structure from your back with a support weapon when you need to bug out and you can pick it back up. I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> cry in my help pod. Alright, I just gotta run far away for like three minutes and they should despawn. And then I can go back and do it. Here's the thing. You think I want to win the mission now, bruh? Eagle, back in the fight. All right, how long do you think we have to wait for them to despawn, chat? Does anyone know the actual time? I feel like it's like two minutes. Are we far enough away? A pin. Northwest, three hundred meters. Three hundred meters. I think three hundred meters is far enough. There are the two wall stratagems coming out. Are those actually coming though? That's what I mean. I feel like there's. Cut content that's just still in the code. If everyone takes one, you can play house. I feel like there's just cut content still in the code. Isn't despawning distance, not time? I don't know. Let's just run back and see what happens. Sounds like there are dudes that are coming for me. Uh, as sick as it would be to have physical walls you could put down. I mean, if they just, like, if they legit just made, like, a tall-ass wall, it could be cool. But they made, like, a short wall. Oh, yeah, everyone's gone. Cool. But they made, like, a short wall with, like, a support weapon on it. And it just low-key doesn't look that good. You've done your duty. You may extract with honor. Good job, guys. You should run EMS mortar more often. See, it was three buttons. Just saying. That was definitely three buttons. Damn, you got throw armor on? That was far. GG. Same diff difference? That is not the same. Extraction. Honestly, if they wanted a helipod launch structure, it should be a pillbox like the one the automatons use. I seen the vid guy was saying the CEO or dev was hinting at a sword. Yeah, I, they were talking about swords. <laughs> one button, three inputs. Well, I had to click. I actually had to click more than one button because I had to click up, right, up, right, up. So it was actually... And then I also had to click onto the terminal, so it was actually six buttons. Yeah, it was one screen, but Labyrinth said one button. Labyrinth should have said one, one thing left. It wasn't one motion. I had to click up, right, up, right, up. And also E. I had to click E up, right. <laughs> I'm just being petty. 
Whoops. Just like your finger across that slide. Yo, this shit loud as hell. Thank you. Door, never mind. That's crazy. Literally, who killed me, bro? Where where are they on my screen? Does it protect you from the rocket blast and ragdolling? Probably not. I'm just gonna find a thick rock. I, I don't think they're adding that to the game. I think that was just like something that was in the files. Bro, where was the enemy that killed me? Am I blind? An AMR with a bayonet, but with no scope, very strong one shot. That nade toss was strong on that bot's part. I didn't even see the nade. I'm pretty sure they're adding bayonets with the weapon upgrade system. Bro, I didn't even see the grenade that killed me though. That's what's crazy. Never knew what the creek was really like till now. Yo, Labyrinth is fucking living though. See, that's my only issue with 50% armor is I feel like it gives you false hope in the long run. Because you live so much bullshit that you should not live and then you die to impact. After watching those dropships, it feels like they're faster than I know. So this mission specifically uh, calls in dropships on your area. It calls in just massive dropships. It's like a really easy mission to complete, but the hard part is it calls in nine dropships. I died to the Hulk foot. Mission complete, woo. Glad to have you. <clears throat> Normally, I feel like on a profitable use of resources on hell on hell dive, like you probably get like four or five dropships on a normal flare. I've seen six before. I've had six dropships get called in on me. Mission coordinates lost. That shit was crazy. Hell pods primed. Engaging orbital. I was easily able to shoot every single one with two quasar. Oh, you were doing it on seven. That's fair. The 50-50 armor should give you limited invincibility for like three seconds. Yeah. I, I, it, it's also just impact damage. Like, bro, you could fall five feet and take fall damage. It's like, really? Really? Five feet? Five feet? Everybody stay six feet apart. I don't think you could have taken them all out with just the two Quasar. Nah, nah I mean, I wasn't worried about that. If I could have taken a couple out, that would have been fun, though. No eagle. What the fuck, Labyrinth? I almost tricked him. <laughs> Hell pod launch initiated. Time for premium content. I like my eagle airstrike, bruh. It's my favorite stratagem. 
if they're adding weapon customizations. I hope it'll include supports. I don't think they're gonna do anything with supports. Yo, thank you guys for the subscribes, by the way. Appreciate it. I don't think they're gonna do supports. That would surprise me. I mean, that would be dope. I, I think it would be too strong, though, because a lot of the support weapons are strong as shit, as it is. Like, if you could customize them with just anything, that would be a little bit ridiculous. Although, if you could add bayonets to them, I'd be down for that. But then might as well just put bayonets on all of them. Arc pistol would go crazy. Morning, you are leaving the mission area. Reinforcing. Requesting orbital. Requesting orbital. Orbital Request inbound. Damn it, I forgot I just became a traitor. Need a last turret to complete the build. Dude, we need another fire support weapon or stratagem because incendiary mines ain't it. Incendiary mines are not it. That's crazy that landed over there. Well, apparently I got 22 kills. I need to get in here. <laughs> I got a couple with the trader. This is the ultimate mega ultra OP, ultra OP meta. I mean, dude, look how fast we're clearing it. We're at 350 in three minutes. This is actually the meta for eradicate missions, by the way. Like, that's not even a joke. Damn, that did not go as far as I hoped. Where the fuck is that Hulk going? Wait, what if I just like run this way? Will it target them all inside the base if I'm just like actively running this way? Dude, I think I found the strat. I think it's targeting it in the base. Because I'm getting kills. Alright, it finally hit me. Uh, Hulk is going <laughs> away from the explosions. <laughs> Bro, that Hulk was like, fuck this. Dude, I think I found the strat. Just run into the wall. All right, everybody try to land on the pelican. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Get in. Dude. People thought I was trolling when I called the bra build meta. I made it sound like I was trolling, but I wasn't. Yo, B2 and A3. 
You guys come in? How dare you punch me in? Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. <laughs> <laughs> now extract as a traitor, damn. Right in surgery weapons are cool, it's just the dot is lacking. I'm fine with low dot, but give it some CC. I would rather dot stacking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he just fucking elbowed me in my nose. That was fucked up. That was messed up, Hamgurger. How dare you? Good night, Suzaku. See you later. You can also on this map do the old turret build, but by the cliff wall on the right side of the map. W six hour stream. Yeah, we big chillin'. Wah, 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 wah. All right, let's see where the creek is at now. Wah, 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 wah. The existence of high casualty missions implies the existence of low casualty missions. But we can take some solace. Let's play. Where's the crick at? 68%, not bad. We got 4% today. Damn, drop near is actually going fast Every though. Every mission brings us one step closer to the full democratization of the known universe. Wonder if an anti-tank mine dispenser would be a good idea. Dots thematically should do more damage at the cost of burst. Anti-helldiver, you mean? They are <sighs> Let us cleanse the galaxy of alien scum. You got the anti-personnel mines for that? Dude, we did a full clear mission in 10 minutes today. A long mission. We've actually been going hard on the creek. Yo, the creek really do be training you, though. You could do the creek. You could do anything. One, two, three. I win. Let's play. <laughs> Let's play. One, two, three. You suck. I win. Let's play. One, two, three. Tie. One, two, three. I win. <laughs> my first mission were on the creek. Me and my friend were on level four. Two tanks dropped. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the first time I saw a tank, I got scared too. I hope they never patch this. Because this is actually a phenomenal bug. Like, this is beautiful. Like, look at the space. Like, this is actually pretty amazing to look at. Wait, let me turn the quality super high. No. <laughs> My CPU can't handle it. Can I mantle? Catch me thick? Can't. I can't catch. Where are you? I don't even see you. You're below me! How am I supposed to catch you if you're below me? Wait! We're at the same height now. Dude, look at me just flailing through the air. This is how John Helldiver drops onto Malevolon Creek. I don't know if anybody knew that. Do you fall infinitely? Actually, that was good timing because my character's gone now. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I DC'd. Uh, this is actually kind of soothing and chill. They need to make it so you could land on the planet and have to extract. 
You're supposed to be in your hell pod, not be the hell pod. This is how John Helldiver falls to Malevolon Creek. Dude, this should be like a lo-fi background. This is actually kind of beautiful. Can we turn off all the HUD options? Alright guys, W stream, nice six hour stream of some Malevolon diving. This is what extra limb health armor was made for. Dude, the creek does look lovely from here. Helldiver John Wick doesn't need a hell pod. Look at all the explosions on the planet. Yo, Zykan. We helped the Creekers Creek. We did the Creek Wiggle earlier. Or the Creek Crawl. <clears throat> There's a lot of fun to be had on the Creek. We had a lot of fun today. And we got that crazy ass clip. I want to make a level on Creek video. Well done, Hell Divers. GG's, everyone. Honestly, I kind of just want to chill here and just look at the planet for a little bit. Too fast, too furious, light, sp light speed to Malevolon. Actually, you guys want to chill for a little bit? I'm thinking about making... A creek crawl is like a pub crawl, only you wish you were drunk. Anyone know if they use skyboxing, or are those actual players calling in strats? It's probably just, uh, it's, it's probably just some sort of overlay. I wonder if the player count does affect it, though. Like, if there's more players, then they'll add more visuals. Anyways, I wanted to make a video about the propaganda of taking Dropnir and why we needed to take the creek. So we could pull out the notepad. Hold on, let me add the notepad to the screen. Let's get a window capture. Let's call it notepad. There it is. Alright, so number one. Wait. Creek greater than drop near. Alright, so number one. The memes. The meme power. The meme power in the creek. You know why? You know why the meme power though? Because there is a dedicated player base to taking down creek. We would free those players up if we took Creek. Number two, Joel doesn't want us to take Creek. He openly admitted to making it harder to take. Number three, the official Discord. <clears throat> The official Discord tried to tell us that the Creek players were impeding the major order, but this was propaganda to keep us away from the Creek. Number four, the major order system is like a large D&D campaign. If we choose to go off campaign, they will reroute us. Alright, any other reasons, guys? I come from Deep Rock, so I'm used to sitting around the lobby area. <coughs> Number five. Space Vietnam. Number six. The creek makes you a better hell diver. Number seven. <laughs> Malevolon is going to be hell when new automaton types drop. 
All right, these are all the reasons so far, chat. Okay, there we go. That's also why I'm surprised at the rate Arrowhead releases new content. Well, they, I mean, it's a new game and they had a bunch of content planned, to be fair. The Creek is a better foothold in the region. Can you elaborate on that, Spicy Lemons? Because that could actually be our number one reason. Ooh, where do I see the supply map? All right, let's actually go look at the supply map real quick. Isn't it helldiver.io? Here, right, let me close my game because the shit's making me lag. Bro, helldivers is so hard on our CPU. It's a choke point. Creek is life. Oh God, it's frozen. All right, we gotta force close it. <clears throat> All right, uh, supply lines, cool. This is Malevolon Creek. This is drop near. Now, how the hell do we even read this? How is the creek a better chokehold? It's actually a horrible chokehold. <laughs> Bro, the creek connects to, like, these two planets, and that's it. These two planets are the only thing. Or is it not showing these ones? Wait. Empty. Huh. The arrows mean nothing. No, no, I understand. It's about the lines. I, like, I, I understand that. These supply lines are crazy though. They look wild. Creek is only getting 1% per hour. Hellmire is losing 5% per hour. Fori Prime is at a stalemate. Istanu is gonna get liberated. So wait. Uh, when you said turn on empty planets, yeah, everything's on now. 46k in Astanu while drop near lags. It's just because people fight bugs, that's why. People don't like fighting bots. Uh, the creek is the only way to that back planet you can completely bypass drop near. That is true. Everything that drop near connects to. The creek eventually connects to, so obviously we would have to take Durban before we can get to Ubania and Tibet. So wait, Ubania is not active right now, right? If I turn off empty and I turn off major order and the campaign, hold on, empty, active players, major order. Wait, I know we're not on Ubania, but I'm confused why it's not showing that. All right, let's just turn everything back on. I 100% love Deep Rock, not one of those whiners that always complains every update that things are too slow. So it does connect to four other planets. So Dropnir connects back to Tian Quan, though. Like, Dropnir connects to this whole sector. If we lose Dropnir, then bots could come into this sector, though, right? Is that how that works? How come this sector doesn't... I feel like these supply lines are a little incomplete. Because, like, look how this sector's boxed off. Or is this just not possible to go into right now? Is, that, is it just genuinely not possible? I will say, though, I'm not, I'm not sure if this sector is relevant, but drop near is the only line to this sector. So if bots attack here, like if we lost this planet, they could potentially push this way. It would be nice if the game had this. We're unsure why supply lines don't connect. 
And what about Maja? Does Maja low key connect here? It just doesn't show us. Uh, both planets are increasing at a similar rate. We will have two planets captured. No, Creek is. Creek is going to be done in half the time of Drop Near because they made it harder. Pretty sure the supply lines would be fleshed out more as invasions extend to new sectors. Bro, you going to sleep? Good night, bro. Uh, does anyone know why we got these supply lines? So these supply lines are how the planets connect. So people are saying take drop near over Creek right now because we need to get this planet, Tibbet. Can I make this bigger? So this planet right here, Tibbet, is the major order. Liberate Tibbet. That's what the major order is. Here's drop near. Here's Creek. If we took drop near, we could go directly to Obania and then go directly to Tibbet. Whereas all the Creek players, it doesn't take us to Obania. It takes us over here to Durgan, then Obania, then Tibbet. So it's an extra planet you have to take over here. So that's why, good night, bruh. I like drop near. It reminds me of where I grew up in the early morning. Grass, rocks, fog. That's actually kind of nice. It might just give us drop near. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, we can ignore drop near and circle it instead. Honestly, I'd like to see what happens if we do a planet encirclement. The major order is never getting completed. Either way, I say we take Creek and go around and see what happens when we cut the bot cupola line. Where is cupola? Is that a planet or was that a misspell? So what are you saying, Spicy Lemons? Could you possibly elaborate? Because I'm trying to get a really strong... Oh, supply line. <laughs> I'm trying to get a strong thesis on why taking Creek would be better supply lines. It was an insane misspell. No, I feel you. I was like, where's Cupola? Where's Cyberstan? There's Cyberstan. So these planets are empty, but these are planets we liberated. Why doesn't this show where what we liberated? Because personally, the only thing I see from taking Creek is then we have Maya, and that's it. Taking Malevolon and Drop Near together does box the automatons in. Creek, go left, then south, and see what happens. This is a research argument to see what happens when you cut off an enemy supply line completely. So are these enemy supply lines? I'm imagining a line of bots doing some sort of weird dance in a line row. <laughs> uh, if we lose drop near, then bots could attack our mech factories, which was over here on Tian Quan. Do some bugs. The supply lines are space travel for both factions. Bugs don't seem to follow supply lines as they don't use ships. Yo, these bug planets are wild. I can't wait till we fight sandworms. Sandworms are going to be crazy, bro. So, how would uh, lemons... Because I'm just curious, how would uh, going through Durga and then going through Urbania, how would that cut off this bot supply line just because we would own this line, essentially? Like, what's the difference if we have this extra planet right here than if we just went this way? Like, what's the actual difference?
bugs can jump planets apparently to defend. So the thing with bugs is that I'm pretty sure whenever we got like a bug defend mission, it said that there was like unknown hives that resurfaced. So I think bugs don't necessarily travel. It's more so that they just kind of exist on a lot of these planets up here and they can resurface whenever Super Earth decides. Yeah, they're already on the planets. It cuts off drop in the southernmost planet. Uh, which southernmost planet? This is Tibet. That's Lang. That's Termodon. Ubania and Dropnir would both get cut off. Uh, it would cut them off from drop near like we got cut off from Albania. So if we took Creek and we took Durban, we took Creek and we took Durban and we took Albania, it would also cut off drop near Tibet. So we would have to take Ubania, though, for your, what you're saying to be true. And it would cut off Dropnir, because we already have Mantis, we already have Tian Quan. <laughs> we already have Tian Quan, we already have Mantis. If we take Creek and we go this way, it would just straight up take Dropnir. My brain is fried. Yes. Would we get Tibet automatically, though, or would we still have to go liberate it? I feel like we'd have to go liberate it. But I don't think it would take it, but maybe its regen would go down. Uh, let's go find that Reddit post on supply lines. Seeing as the major order is liberate, probably need to liberate. Alright, here's the fucking thread. This is what we need to read, chat. I never actually read this, so this will basically be news to me. Alright, Galaxy War 102, supply lines and what happens to cut off planets. Forward, as Helldivers is a game, you should just play the game how you want, whatever. What are supply lines? Another mechanic that's not very visible is that all the planets on the galaxy map are connected by supply lines. So far, these supply lines appear to solely dictate which planets are available to liberate. We can only liberate planets which are linked to super earth planets, either fully liberated or have ongoing defense campaigns. Which planets can be attacked by automatons? They can attack, uh, parentheses, start a defense campaign on any planet that is immediately linked to an automaton controlled planet including partially liberated planets with an active liberation campaign uh, it's unclear how bugs work the supply lines are visible on helldivers.io by toggling connections in the drop down box near the map's top right corner but according to the website currently not all supply lines may be accurate and some may be missing when a planet is attacked by bugs, when a planet turns into a liberation campaign, all the planets that were previously linked to it would be cut off, and players would no longer be able to access them. For example, since Meridia was the only planet we controlled which links to Astanu and Crimsica, when the bugs attacked Meridia, we immediately lost access to play on both those planets. So, Meridia, Astanu, Crimsica. Hold on. I need to look at this. Astanu, Crimsica, Meridia. Okay. So, since Meridia was the only planet we controlled, when the bugs attacked, we lost access on both those planets. So, Meridia, because we didn't have Hellmire at the time, I'm guessing. If we had captured Ubania before Dropnir fell, would that have stopped the attack on Dropnir? I think so, Gandalf. 
Because according to this thread, uh, which planets can be attacked by automatons? They can start a defense campaign on any planet that is linked to an automaton-controlled planet. So if we had controlled... Dude, I feel like... I feel like the fucking always sunny Charlie meme when he's trying to figure out where the mail is going. Uh, but yeah, so if we controlled Mantis, if we controlled Ubania, then they never could have attacked Dropnir. Oh, also Creek. We would have to control these three planets, and then they wouldn't be able to attack Dropnir. All right. All right. So losing back to planets. Uh, all right, hold on. Where were we? When a planet's attacked, we were right here. Okay. When bots attack a planet, a defense campaign is started on that planet. Example, Mantis for the past day. At this point in time, access beyond the planet is not cut off. However, as soon as the defense campaign fails and Mantis is lost, the two planets with active la liberations... Malevolon Creek and Drop Near would be cut off. Failing the defense campaign will also turn Mantis into a liberation campaign, and access will be regained once Mantis. Why do I keep going over there? Is taken back. Okay, so here's Mantis. So this turned into a defend campaign uh, four weeks ago, and we didn't have access to Creek or Drop Near. And then if we. F let's say we failed that defense campaign. I forget if we did or not, but let's just say we did. We would then have to liberate this planet to get these two planets back. Okay, so what happens to cutoff planets? Normally, the cutoff planets will behave as if those planets have zero players on them. This means no liberation missions or progress is possible. Any planet regen will keep ticking. Example, if a liberation planet is cut off when it had 80% progress and the planet has 5% regen per hour, four hours later, it'll go down to 60%. If access is regained, it'll resume at 60%. In the most recent loss of Mantis on the west bot front, it appears that the cutoff planets Creek and Dropnir retained their access for a short time. About half an hour to an hour, but we could just call that lag. Since then, access to those planets have been lost. In addition, those bot planets that lost their supply lines are seeing increased planet regen. Uh, and then there's a post about planet regen, so we'll read that next. This community is not good at defense campaigns. It's because nobody likes fighting the bots. It's hard to get people to go fight them. This is why I play the game, figuring this shit out. Uh, so those bot planets that lost supply lines are seeing increased regen. As it happens, we literally just lost Mantis a few minutes ago. This resulted in us losing access to Creek and Drop Near. Below is a snapshot of what the progress on those planets looked like before losing access. So Creek and Drop Near were both 60-70%. As soon as Mantis is lost, Creek and Drop Near lost their supply lines, and the planets are now seeing 2% planet regen. Uh, 2% higher than the other bot planet, 0%. The bug defenses go bad too. Didn't we win all the bug defenses though? Shortly after, access to those two planets are also lost, but as you can see here, the liberation progress doesn't disappear. Instead, it decreases gradually at uh, 2% per hour. And this is four hours after. Okay, so in four hours, it lost. Uh, 8%, so yeah, 2% per hour. The question must be asked, would have been more efficient to defend Mantis instead of letting it fall? Would it have been more efficient to defend Mantis instead of letting it fall? The short answer is no. Defending Mantis would have required 100k players contributing to its defense for the entire 24 hours. During that time, those same players could have contributed 5% progress per hour on any Liberation planet. 120% liberation progress in total. In practice, despite the lost cause, around 30 to 50k players stayed around on Mantis, effectively wasting the 42% defense campaign that could have been added to any other planet's liberation. 
Now that access to Creek and Drop Near is lost, the combined forces of 87k players on those planets will be forced to take back Mantis. Uh, the combined 87k will be forced to take back Mantis. Including Mantis people, this would be 140k players at a potential progress of 7% per hour. Mantis will be taken back in 7 hours. During those 7 hours, the two cutoff planets will lose 2%, for a total of 28% lost across both planets. This is still well below the liberation progress gained by ignoring Mantis in the first place. Last but not least, given the current design of defense missions, the majority of the player base hate defense campaign and will actively avoid them. No amount of strategy will change that underlying problem. Unless there are significant planet regen on planets that may have their supply lines cut off or where a major order is involved, it's more efficient to ignore defense campaigns. It's more efficient to just focus on liberation pro uh, progress all the time. Taking back a planet that lost its defense campaign is faster and more enjoyable than winning a defense campaign. Okay. So there's an argument that could be made. I guarantee Joel upped the difficulty to liberate bug planets because otherwise the bug zones would be obliterated right now. They only lost a fraction of their numbers thanks to the bot order. A Schwein defense just failed. So partial defense campaigns might not be worthless. I don't have concrete numbers, but apparently the regen rates on the, on the close defense campaigns were way lower than the Mantis 42%. Oh, and here's 101. And what's this one? That's the same post. Yeah, that's the same post. Uh, this is what they tried to do with drop near Ubania. Too many defended drop without finishing Ubania. Oh, so drop near was a defense campaign? So drop near was a defense campaign on the last major order. I missed the last major order. It was so painfully close. Oh, did we lose the defense on the bug planets on Fourie Prime? I think I was doing solo runs last night. That was just last night, wasn't it? All right, now we're going to learn about regen rates. Here, let's see what SES was saying, because I'm in their Discord, and that's who wrote this post, apparently. Uh, we are cooked in every way. Defensive drop near is impossible. This was uh, two nights ago. Due to the divide and idle actions taken, we would need 100% of the community on drop near for an unprecedented amount of time. Abandon drop near. It's time to put Lady Liberty aside and pick up democracy. With bot decay at point 0.5, we just might be able to take Ubania from the Iron Claws of the Automatons. If we take Ubania before the fall of Dropnir, we pave the way to assault on Tibet. Ubania will act as a beachfront. This has happened before. So yeah, that's exactly what this guy was saying. That's exactly what this guy was saying, was that, um, okay, okay, this is all coming together now. I think I know why we need to take Malevolon Creek. So this guy was saying, so two nights ago, when we were at a defense on Dropnir, so two nights ago when we were at a defense on Dropnir, we were going to lose it. To the point where we needed 100% of the, co the community on drop near for multiple hours, which was not going to happen, right? And so this guy was saying, abandon it, take Ubania. Because when the defense campaign ends, we will still, we will have Ubania liberated. So how Ubania isn't even active right now, and it's not liberated right now. Can we see the liberation amount currently? Hold on, let me load my game back up. So I believe if we had liberated Ubania before we lost the defense campaign, yeah, Ubania is at 
Representative Mike Collins. Who the fuck is Mike Collins? Yeah, I'm loading my game back up. So if we had liberated Ubania before we lost Dropnir, this would come back after this defense campaign is over. Or at least it would sit there idly. So I think we need to take Creek. I think we need to take Creek because we need access to these planets. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity. We need to take, yeah, I agree. If we take Creek and then we take Durgan, then we can kind of circumvent drop near completely. The reason why we should have ignored Dropnir is because this was this was a defense planet. And we weren't gonna do it. Creek, more like peak. Yeah, look, 89%. Uh does anyone know what Ubania was at like yesterday? What did Ubania get to before we lost it? Or before we lost Dropnir? It was at 96%. So, when did the major order change? The hell divers Discord should tell us. The Ubanian Gambit has failed. Our troops opted for the latter. However, the initial hours of indecision resulted in insufficient concentration of troops to achieve either. Dropnir initially held a reserve force representing just under 20% of all active Helldivers, which was a solid start, but insufficient to gain advantage over the assault. As the event continued, they remained close, but could not sway enough Helldivers from other fronts to gain the numbers to actually turn the tide. As the hours grew shorter, they abandoned Dropnir defense in favor of attempting to burn down Ubania, but it was too little too late. We must dare free our As Dropnir failed... Okay, so Ubania was at 95%. Had our forces decided earlier what to do, or alternatively managed to sway more of the 35% Helldivers on the Terminated front, today would have been cause for celebration, but victories need to be earned. Blah, blah, blah. Our task is now retake drop near to enable FTL lines to Obania before the automatons can shore up defenses and repopulate their losses. This setback will prove to be significant and may compromise the major order if Dropnir and Ubania are not retaken quickly. Another significant obstacle has been the ongoing support of Malevolon Creek. Long-standing as a bastion of human endurance and a symbol of our resistance, Creek remains locked in a stalemate with an average 25% of our forces committed to its defense and eventual liberation. Through success on drop near Ubania and eventually Tibet seems unlikely with such a large con contingent diverted elsewhere. I was there the dr day drop near killed the campaign. The defense team screwed the pooch. Uh, I love this game. What's up, box? Is the Dominator worth using, and in what situations? Uh, I would just try it out, bro. Uh, Dominator has medium armor penetration, which is pretty strong. Um, it just has really bad recoil, and I think that's why most people don't like it. Uh, I remember when I first tried it, I liked it a lot, but I haven't played with it in a long enough time to really tell you. Actual D&D &D campaign. I think we also need to think about like what their goals are with this campaign because just as just as they're saying that if we had given up Dropnir and taken Ubania earlier, I feel like we're now in that same standstill. Like we need to I, I think the number one reason to take the creek it's to just get all these players off the creek. <laughs> like, is that not the number one reason? Just get all these fucking guys off the creek. 
so that we can actually start like doing shit. I was wondering what's up with Theseus sector. So these are all 100% liberated. Huh. Maybe that's why the supply line doesn't connect. A ton of people are at the creek because it has the big major order symbol on it. No, a ton of people are at the creek because it's the creek. The 30k is the usual creek numbers? Yeah, but it's 4 a.m. Creek was at a peak of like 80k, 100k today. It is 4 a.m. right now. The peak of this game was 12 hours ago. It can be two reasons. Yeah, no, no, it's definitely multiple reasons. Like, let's just look at Hellmire, for example. There's only 10k players here. This is probably people on Hellmire because there's a liberation campaign. Yeah, most people on Bug Planets are on Astanu. So there's 20k, 65k, 75k on Bugs right now. And there's 40 and 30. Uh, 38 plus... Uh, slightly less on bots. The creek exists purely as a meme. It has no benefit to the current major order. So it doesn't have a benefit to the current major order. That's true. But if we were to... Here's the thing, though. Based on these supply lines, we have Mantis already, right? If we were to go Creek, Durgan, Bania, then we would fully cut off Dropnir. And we would actually... Uh, further our supply lines better. So while there is no benefit Choose to the current the major order, each one you complete is a shut the fuck up. So while there's no benefit to the current major order, if we were to take Creek, take Durgan, and then finish off Ubania it would actually give us better supply lines, and Dropnir would be easy to take. Make the vid about getting Creekers out of the creek. So we need to read this one, because I'm curious about planet regen, and I'm curious how cutting off a robot, like, like encircling a planet, I'm curious how encircling a planet, um slows down the regen because i'm pretty sure that's a thing as well yeah look this planet's liberated as well if we were to take all these planets we would just cut off drop near completely i would laugh so hard if it turns out the bots do a counter offensive and start tearing through us i can guarantee the creek's peak would be like 30k lower we have to account that Creek will get a very fast defend campaign. The last three planets would be cut off from each other. These last three planets. Alright, let's read this one. Alright, let's fucking understand this shit. Alright, in the most recent major order, one insidious situation that kept occurring was that on the east front, players would spread themselves evenly across Liberation Planets, 1k, Fenrir, Meridia, and Turing. This results in a three-front stalemate, a ticking time bomb until off-peak hits and all planets lo pro lose progress. This is happening because of the regen mechanic. Uh, players contribute to a planet's liberation progress when they complete operations. Currently... This is set to be 0 .0001, 0 0.003, ranging from ops with one mission to three missions. This is not affected by numbers of players completing an operation or the operation's difficulty. On average, 100k players on a planet tend to contribute around five per hour. Planet regen. Think of planet regen as the rate at which a hostile planet is being reinforced or how quickly bugs are spawning. This is a mechanic that can be adjusted by the Game Master anywhere between 0 to 20% per hour. It is as the name implies, each hour the planet's liberation progress will decrease, so the regen, so the liberation percent will decrease by X percent per hour, and it is deducted from any progress made by players on that planet. 
If a planet has a regen of 4% and 100k people on it, then that means on average we'll get a net progress of 1% per hour. Typically, the Game Master sets a relatively high regen rate for bug planets. Currently, this is 5% for each planet. The bot planets have 0% re regen. Previously, they had 0.8 to 1%. Contrary to popular belief that any progress on a failed defense campaign will contribute to the subsequent liberation campaign, after a failed defense campaign, the, subsequ the subsequent liberation campaign will always start at 50%. In other words, if a defense campaign is clearly doomed to fail, you are better off contributing to any other planet. A couple recent examples showing that the follow-up liberation starting at 50%. Creek crawlers are never going to surrender and never forget their brother's sacrifice, and by democracy they will liberate the creek. What's the lore on the major order right now? It should give us a hint as to what the penalty of the loss would be. Maybe ten hulks get dropped every five minutes. Uh, we have identified the most significant source of automaton combatant production. Liberation of this planet will severely impact the enemy's force replenishment capacity. So it sounds like it'll increase their regen. A couple recent examples showing the follow-up. Yep, starting at 50%. Yep. Uh, we can look at how some planets are currently doing as an example. So Fenrir and Turing are all bug planets, although they each have a lot of people. Due to the 5% regen, they're each making relatively little progress, between 1-2%. to This is because on each planet, 100k players are just beating back the regen, and only the surplus players are pushing the progress forward. Arata Prime is also a bug planet, and since it has below 100k players, no matter how long these 70k players stay on the planet, it will never see a single percent of progress since they can't beat the 5% regen. It's why that planet has stayed at zero for many days. Okay. What can you do about this? As information on regen is not visible within the game itself, Players may naturally think the best strategy when liberating multiple planets is to ensure that each planet has enough people, however this is false. Hypothetically, let's say we have absolute command over the action of 360k players, and we need to conquer three planets at 90, 80, and 70% progress respectively with 5% regen, however we only have 6 peak hours, after which the player base will drop down to 150k off peak. So this is the spreading out strategy. So hour one, 91%, 120k players at a rate of 1% per hour. 1% uh, per hour. Hour two would be 92. Yeah, it would go up 1% each. So that means that throughout the peak, none of the planets would get liberated, and then it would fall during off-peak hours. versus a focused blitz strategy if we could put all the players onto a single planet we would fully regen that planet in hour one or we would fully liberate that planet in hour one and then the second two planets would lose five percent by hour two uh the third planet would fall off a bit but by hour three, we would liberate both planets. And then in one, two, three, four, five, by hour nine, we would get the third planet liberated. So if we could control all the players, we want to put them all on one planet. Taking Tibbet might have given us bonus time between bot drops for the next phase. They've changed off-peak to be not as impactful, so this is outdated, but the principle's correct. Oh, uh, Convo, I know they changed it. Do you know where that post is about how they changed it? Wasn't it a Reddit post? Where do we see the regen rates? So yeah, we understand regen rates now. Do we have regen rates? Liberation. 
Okay. So currently it's on Reddit. Shit, how do we find that? Oh, mouse over the planet to see the rate? Oh, okay. So Malevolent is 0.58 per hour. Wait. No, no, no. Where's the regen rate though? Oh, enemy forces, minus 0.5. Yeah, so that's the same. It's half a percent. Did you see Malevolent Creek theme someone made? It's called Malevol it's called Assault on Malevolent. Is it copyright? I'll listen to it right now if it's not copyright. Let me close my game again. Oh, this looks copyrighted. I can't listen to this. Alright. Helldivers 2. Oh, wait, no. It's just r slash Helldivers, actually. Alright, r slash Helldivers. Uh, shit. I have no idea how to find this Reddit post. I don't know what to search. If we, if we knew something to search, then we could do it. Even if something bad happens from not doing the major order, that just means more content. I, I can't listen to that song. It's copyrighted. It's on Apple Music and shit. This dude probably has a copyright. And it doesn't say no copyright anywhere. I'm going to listen to it off stream. Uh, major order drama is deliciously realistic. <laughs> True. I'm going to keep that open. Uh... Creakers did nothing wrong. Creakers this, bug divers that. No, it's a lack of critical information. Okay, so this guy's saying that Creek has the most liberation rate. What is drop near at? 73, 69. So... Okay, so this is where the info. Uh, does anyone know? Is there, is there a way to see? Oh, there is a way. We click it, right? If I click Malevolent Creek, it shows the liberation percent. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so we can see the liberation percentages. So this started at 50% because we lost this defense campaign. Squad impact might be the search term. Okay. So this started at 50% at 3.30, 221 p.m. And at 3.30 at 2.20, it was at 54%. So it was only slightly higher at some point. Okay. Creek was at a higher liberation percent when drop near became available. And since we have no communication, across the broader and the general no 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 and the general rule of thumb is everyone focus on highest player count or highest liberation percent i would say highest liberation percent is more important The fact this game has turned people into actual fucking war analysts. I know that's what we're doing right now, isn't it? 
All right, what are we looking for? Squad impact. Uh, squad impact now seems to scale. This just looks like a random post. Uh, sort by new. Something needs to prepare us for WW3. Uh, let's go hot. PSA, Helldive Missions, award six points of squad impact. Is this it? No. I don't think it's by, I don't think it's squad impact. Where's our search? There it is. Uh, you're using the logic from a Reddit post talking about liberating planets, but this is about the major order. So here's the thing though. Uh, the current major order is not necessarily as important as getting down supply lines because uh, going through this post, here, even if we pull up this, so even if we pull up the, the Discord, where the Spitz, one of the community managers or some shit, was saying, faced with the choice of dedicating uh, troops to the defense mission or attempting liberation, the problem was we were split. And if we had chose one or the other, then we could be celebrating. Because even if we failed the previous major order, which we did, by the way, we did fail the previous major order, even if we had failed that, but we had liberated Ubania, then it could have served as a new planetary base of operations. So even the community manager was saying that the major order is not necessarily the most important thing. The most important thing is really these supply lines. Because these supply lines kind of dictate... Uh, how all of our future major orders and defense campaigns and stuff like that goes. Why isn't it showing everything? There we go. Also, Joel gives us the orders now. Yeah, and we also have to remember that... That they plan for us to fail some major orders. Like, when we fail a major order, that's not necessarily like we're failing the game. Like, they want us to fail some of these major orders. Like it's like a D and D campaign. Like we're like they are planning for this shit, and they're gonna react to it accordingly. I know you. I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, saying Gubania correctly on your video. Honestly, though, Convo, if I say it incorrectly, people will comment that, and that actually gives me better interaction. I think they were saying Gubania was more important than the defense. Yes, which was the previous major order. So as you were saying, good prep for the argument you put in your video. So yeah, as you were saying, though, that Creek doesn't help us with this current major order, that's true. It doesn't. <coughs> what up, Nathaniel? Based. The major order is and has been Tibet. Uh... What was the major order when Drop Near was a defense campaign? They won't let us wipe the bots too soon. In all likelihood, they would have forced us to lose the next order, if not this one. We won the last order? Tibet. No, the defense, the defense campaign that we just lost. We just lost a defense campaign on Drop Near. That was still about taking Tibet. And here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, if we had given up the defense on drop near, which was a major order, because defense campaigns are major orders, that wasn't a major order though? How was it not a major order? Tibet's been the major order for three days, yeah. But if we had given up the defense and just taken Ubania, defense aren't major order. Oh, okay. So defense, so that's what I'm saying. Defense was the side thing that got us distracted. The most important thing is we all unite on one objective, probably. So the defense was the switcheroo. 
the defense was the bait and switch. The defense came in to distract us from Ubania because Ubania got to 95%. It's currently at what, 89%? We just checked it. Defense is the jewel red herring. Okay. Yeah, I got you. <clears throat> defense on drop near made us lose Ubania. Yeah, but only because it served as a distraction. To be fair, they do this on every major order. I don't hear no bell. How about you, Helldivers? Probably. probably. What's up, Dragon? Alright, where's that new Reddit post with how squad impact and regen goes? Maybe we could type in regen. Joel always launches an enemy offensive near the end of a major order completion. Oh yeah, true. What did I exit out? It's Ubania for the record. I do respect it. Listen, I'm just saying it how I say it. That's not because I I'm like I'm not purposefully doing that right now. Compilation of stealth changes. Well, I'm interested in that. Uh, they filled it properly. I think I read this one. No, this ain't it. This dude didn't make the post. Because that's his most recent post in Helldivers. It's 21 days ago. Huh. Let's check this out. Let's see if it's here. No, that was also Gookson. It has a screenshot from a dev message in the Discord. Saw some posts, and this probably needs to be said. Liberation is now calcul. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, where are we at? Saw this post, and this probably needs to be said. Copy. Paste. Here we go. There we go. Saw some posts, and this probably needs to be said. Liberation's now calculated on XP. Spamming trivial missions by wasting supply isn't effective anymore. Impact on... Uh, let's go to Spitz's actual message. Because we can see some context of the conversation. Are you kidding me? I'm literally typed that in word for word. Did I not? Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. Okay. Oh, Spitz pinned it as well. Vic says, Ubania, like racist Southerners say Arab. It's really funny. Who's hell diving right now, wanting to join some good groups? What up, Ace? Uh, all right. Impact on the Galactic War is mostly determined by amount of XP earned, which is multiplied by difficulty at the end of a successful op. Anything that awards higher amount of XP will result on higher impact, and higher difficulties will reward higher XP and impact multiplier when all operations in a set are completed. This means that clearing side objectives and outposts or nests will indirectly result in more impact, as these awards a higher XP total at the end of a mission. However, risking a deployment to complete these objectives may not be worth it, as a failed main objective or failure to extract heavily reduces the amount of XP and impact earned. I'm not going to math it out, but a mid-level difficulty operation with a map clear and all Helldivers extracted, even with a difficulty multiplier, 
will likely give more XP and impact than a high level operation where players speed run the main objective, only gets one out alive, nothing else is completed, etc. So it's basically just based on XP now. Okay. I should be sleeping to be honest. I should be diving because I'm trying to do an all nighter on spring break and failing to reset sleep schedule for school tomorrow. Wait, you should take a nap. So yeah, basically all Spitz told us was it's based on XP. That's fair. Uh, is there any reason squad impact might rarely be ridiculously higher than usual? I once quick joined an op. No, I've never seen that. In all our missions tonight, I don't even think it was that high. And we were full completing missions as well as... We didn't always extract everyone, but we had a decent amount of players extracted most of the time. It's 5 a.m. My spring break was a month ago. Why is yours so late in the semester? All right, so... Yeah. So, isn't it a thing? Chat, tell me this, because I thought it was a thing that if we theoretically cut a planet off completely... Theoretically, if we cut off a planet completely, like, let's say, let's say theoretically the entire player base was like, all right, let's take the creek and then, all right, let's take Durgan and then, all right, now we can finish Ubania. So, so then Dropnir would be cut off from all sides because Tian Quan is also liberated. Doesn't this automatically get some liberation on it? Isn't that a thing? Or am I tripping? Because I thought that was a thing. Spring is in six months for me. Are you in Australia, Apollo? Or that Joel was pulling some shenanigans? My guess was it was a bug. That is not a thing to my knowledge. Yes. Yeah, I think your spring and fall are backwards for us. I'm in Ohio. My guess was that it was a bug, but it actually added to the liber liberation percent a lot more than usual, too. But its regen would go to zero if not outright negative. So wouldn't negative liberation mean that this planet's just getting liberated automatically? Do you think we'll lose access to Max if the bots invade Tianquan? No, no way. That'd be so sick. I'm just kidding, I'm half American. Negative regen is positive liberation. So, is there, does anyone know of any ever confirmed like negative, liber, negative regen? Or I guess positive regen, because this is showing it as negative already. Maybe only one mech. Apollo, you goofball. Also, if these are the only two bot planets, we don't really have anything to go on. Oh, this one has zero regen. Astanu. Why does Astanu have zero regen? These two planets have 1% regen per hour. I don't think we ever cut off a planet before. I think we did. Uh, the minus 5 is a representation of their impact on our plus 2.5. Okay. Oh, these are defenses. Yeah, that's true. It's just rate versus our rate. Yeah, yeah, no, I forgot that was a defense. So if we were to cut off a planet, it doesn't do anything for the regen rate, or would it just put it to, to zero?
Because I believe... Does this show the regenerate? Yes, it does. So yeah, this is regening 0.5 per hour now. And you could see that right here. Once we got cut off from this planet, that it started losing 0.5 liberation per hour. Roughly. Can I put this? 48 hours. So wait. 236.08, 246.08. So that's one hour. And it was at 95.4. Well, here, let's just go here. 406.08. It's at 94.78. 406.08. Let's go to 506.08. It's at 94.34. Ninety four point three versus ninety four point seven eight. Yeah, it's like point oh four five or point four five. Really funny how Omicron is just not connected to anything else. So if we took it, we both have no bug planets and also can't liberate all the planets. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know defense works like that. I forgot uh I forgot that uh this planet is a defense right now when I was looking at it. Cause it doesn't tell it doesn't tell me right here. <laughs> Forty five million team kills. This is an unofficial website, so it's probably not super accurate. Yeah. How is the liberation line linear when the player count is all over the place? Because I believe it's scaled to player counts. Oh, or were you talking about this? I believe it's scaled to player counts somehow. I don't really know how they do that. Damn, they had 138k players on there at one point. Do you think we could win this major order? No. But personally, I don't think the major order is important. I think what's important is... These supply lines. The blue line is linear, whether it's peak or off peak. Yeah, liberation percent was linear. So the planet is going up in players is because the entire game is going up. I think I read that somewhere. I don't know. What's our steam count lately? Look at that. Look at that slow drop off of players. That's not bad. Looks better than most games. I'm going to see what most games look like. <laughs> Let's look at Suicide Squad. They just had Joker release. Yeah, this is what most games look like. Peak. Die. Damn, they were down to 500 players. Sheesh. Good night, Hamgurger. The finals is a good one. We could win this major order if 100% of the player base used the Reddit. Yeah, but that's asking a lot. People on Reddit. Also, how the hell did this only have 13,000 players? I thought so many people bought this game. I'm actually shocked that its peak was that low. How the mighty studios fall to corporate shit. Yep. That's how it goes. 
I'm surprised their peak started that low. It looks like IGN really got them. You should see the Starship Troopers chart. Which one? Which Starship Troopers? Uh, it also has PS5 players. Yeah, it does, but only 13k on PC is crazy. Uh, so we can get Ubania, Ubania easily. Ubania is already at, uh, Ubania is at 89%. Extermination. Damn. I mean, it looks the same. 15k down to just a couple hundred lately. Nah, Helldivers is doing good. Like, if Helldivers had fallen off, like, down to 100k, 50k, then it would be a dying game. But it's not a dying game. This is normal. The game's been out. It peaked. Shit ton of people played it. And now this, we're getting to, like, the true player base numbers. What was our peak recently? 268. So it seems like our peak recently was around this valley. Yeah, like, that's a pretty solid player count throughout the week. Everyone left Starship for Helldivers. Uh, bought airships and air-to-air -air incoming. Press S to spit on the Jonkler. Once we grab Drop Near, we'll get Ubania in like four hours, yeah. Drop Near will take somewhere from 10 to 16. Ubania might take 6 to 8. There's no way we get Tibet. Tibet. So what about the past, uh, what, I've been streaming for six hours, and people were bitching about, yeah, and people were bitching about, uh, Creakers, like, what, all day yesterday? Or wait, if we just go in here, yesterday at four, so about 12 hours now. If people were on drop near the past 12 hours, do you think we could have taken Tibet? I think a lot of people consider video games to be scams these days. I certainly do. Yeah. For sure. Nah, most games fucking suck nowadays. I feel like most games probably always sucked, but we always look at the past through rose-colored glasses. But they definitely fucking blow nowadays. All the microtransactions. Like, it's just like, how much money can we cash in on and then give up on the game? I think, I think games need to care less about graphics. Maybe graphics is the wrong word. Realism. A 30k player difference would have been enough to complete the major order. When we lost drop near, we only had about three hours left on Ubania, so we would have gotten it. Once the defense ended, people split. Uh, anyone else noticed, like, last 5% players fall off? I don't know what hour drop near fell. Me neither. Oh, yeah, we do. It was at... Uh, 4, 3, 2.30. 2.30 yesterday. In the past, they didn't release video games with hellacious bugs and broken content. All right, to be fair, yes, they did. <laughs> okay, not the shady bugs, though. You're right. Not the, like, oh, we can't fucking move the game progress forward every, like, ten times per campaign. Funny how Helldivers looks better than most AAA games. Did you ever play Pokemon Red or Blue? I did. In the past, they didn't have patches, yeah. Some did, but it was seriously looked down on. Now it's expected. I know, people just expect it. Ever, everybody, when whenever you hear a content creator simping for a game, like, one of their first statements are, oh, yeah, just a rough launch. You know, every game has a rough launch. Does every game have a rough launch, though? If we had one on Ubania, let's say right before Drop Near fell, we would have had 43 hours to liberate Tibet. 
Oh, well, yeah, that's if we won Ubania, though. Like, bro, Suicide Squad, for example. Dude, I had a content creator fucking block me on Twitter and make a video. Or no, 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 he live streamed. So I'm, I posted this Suicide Squad video. Uh, where is it? I posted this Suicide Squad video. Five reasons on why I thought it would flop. And this was a genuine criticism. I looked at all the gameplay reveals. I looked at the end game loops. I looked at the combat loop. I looked at the farming systems. And I said, these are the same mistakes that other looter shooters have been making. Like, for example, I'll just give one example of something I brought up. How in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, you're not farming guns. You're farming gun parts. So they reward, or I'm sorry, gun stats. So, they, so instead of like, so it's really easy to get guns. And I, was, I looked at some of the early gameplay reveals. And these people were getting, like, all the craziest legendaries on, like, the level 1 through 5 difficulty endgame missions, right? So you get all these crazy legendaries easily, but you have to reform them to get the stat that you want. And what ends up happening is it makes it so the legendary drop just doesn't feel special. And as a Borderlands 3 player, when they added anointments, that's how everyone felt. There's a fucking pile of legendaries, every boss kill in Borderlands 3, but you're looking for a sentence on the fucking weapon card. And it just makes it not feel special. It's that simple. It feels way more special when you kill a boss, nothing drops, and you're like, fuck, I gotta kill him again. Kill him again, nothing drops. Repeat, and then when you get that drop, and then when you get that drop to hit, it's nice. It's like, oh my god, I got the legendary. Essentially, you have two different systems. You either make it really hard for legendaries to drop, or they drop easily, but the specific legendary stat you're looking for is hard. And we could say that they have the same drop rates between both systems, right? We could say that, that each, each specific, like the specific stat you're looking for or the specific legendary drop, both of them have a 5% chance to drop. So there's actually no difference, right? But in reality, it makes it a much less special feeling. It makes it, like, a way tougher grind as well, like, mentally. I remember playing through BL2 in 2012 and getting my first Legendary. It was a phenomenal feeling. Exactly. Exactly. That's just one example I gave in the video, right? But I gave... But my video was true criticism. It wasn't... I didn't just hop on the fucking hate on Suicide Squad train, right? But I had this content creator watch my video and because uh, we followed each other on Twitter from a different game. And he was like simping hard for Suicide Squad. And he kept making these videos called uh, The Haters Are Wrong About Suicide Squad. He just kept posting these videos about it. And he like watched my video. I don't know if he didn't listen to my arguments or if he's just not a looter shooter player. So he didn't understand my arguments. But he was like, so you hate farming. Why are you playing a looter shooter then? I'm like, that's not what I said at all. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. He just kept saying like, another thing I brought up was currency farming. So like Suicide Squad has like seven different in-game currencies. And you have to go currency farm them. And currency farming ain't fun. Like... I don't, I don't know one Borderlands player who's like, yeah, let's go farm cash. Can't wait to have a good time. Like, there's not one. Borderlands 2 is, did great because most people didn't know about the specific stats on the legendary, so it was special if you knew or not. Yeah. See, Borderlands 2 did great because most legendaries without the specific stat are good. So even if you get it to drop on a normal run, it's going to do really good for you. But then when you get that specific stat, now you could be extra excited. And that's how you're supposed to do it. So, like, make the legendary rare, but then give it a stat that's not super impactful, but can also make you extra excited. Like, that's what you're going for.
with looter shooters, in my opinion. Um, and yeah. Alright, I need a more cohesive argument for this video. I was so confused when I first saw a video talking about the specific brand parts and stuff. Yeah. Nah, I picked up Borderlands 2 recently again, and I was starting to learn weapon parts. It is it is hard. Once you get an eye for what a lot of them look like, you can kind of tell, though. Yeah, most looter shooters have that issue, like uh, Outriders. Outriders was one. I brought up Outriders in my video. That's actually another thing I brought up was that Outriders did that. And the dude reacting to my video was like, Outriders? What the hell is Outriders? Nobody plays that dumbass game. That's not a major IP. Well, let's look at the Steam charts because Outriders had 125k peak player count. Fell the fuck off because it made all those gameplay mistakes. Suicide Squad started at 13k. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you talking about Outriders not being popular? This game's not fucking popular. Oh no, I thought that shit was funny. I don't know. I, I think it's just because he didn't play looter shooters, though. Like, uh, I met him from fighting games. What about D2? Uh, I don't play Destiny. I can't really comment on that. LMAO. Yeah, if you play looter shooters, though, like... Certain things are very obvious to you. Like, in Suicide Squad, I feel like anyone who's playing this game does not... Or, okay, most people playing this game don't come from looter shooters. Like, this might be a lot of these people's first looter shooter who are still playing the game, is what I mean. Oh, the Steam charts? I mean, dude, D2 is, like, one of the most popular games, I'm pretty sure. Actually, has haven't people been bitching about it recently? Oh, 45k? Okay, yeah, that's pretty. Someone who put an on ungodly amount of hours in BL2. I didn't learn weapon tar parts until like a thousand hours in. Yeah, it is hard. Argument one, fuck the major order. We ball in the creep. Creek cutting off. Ubania from the other planets is sexy and cool. Please give us supply lines in game. People always say things about D2. I thought they were doing some stuff lately that people didn't like. And then they added hoverboards and everybody was back on board again. Bro, how many patches does this game get? Or does this just game just have crazy fucking lows consistently? I don't play Destiny. Yeah, everyone was talking shit on Destiny, and then they were like, we're adding hoverboards, and then everyone was like, ooh, that looks cool. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. They had their all-time peak in 2023. Oh, no, it was probably on launch. Why isn't it showing me launch numbers? Anyways. These are probably crazy raids they added and stuff. What does the DRG graph look like? I don't even know what that is. Is that a game? What game is that? <coughs> <coughs> oh, Deep Rock. Oh. There's like a colon or some shit, isn't there? Oh, Galactic. Why did I type in Galactica? I never played this game either. Leave me alone. Alright, they're gaining players. Deep Rock's going hard. When did this game came out? Rock and Stone. I never played this game. Yeah, they're gaining players. Look at that. Oh no, it seems like they're pretty consistent around these numbers. Wait, why does the all chart look like this though? I've got 1k hours. 
Deep Rock was in early access for a long ass time. I mean, shit, dude. You go early access for this long and look at that player count. You don't see many charts like this for games, especially over this many years. The devs of both of them were talking about collabing. This would be an amazing collab for Helldivers. Put some Deep Rock armor in. People would probably love that shit. It was open early access. You guys want to know the craziest Steam chart, though? I'm pretty sure it's Terraria. Jesus Christ, what is this peak on Terraria? Terraria has had a consistent player count, just these same numbers forever. Forever. Just slow gain. COVID, bro, everybody hopped on Terraria on COVID. Why? <laughs> just everyone was like, oh, I'm locked in my house. Time to hop on Terraria. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense to me. The devs of DRG were playing HD2 on their channel a few weeks ago. That's lit. Mods. But 500k, bro. They went from... They literally 10x'd. 50k to 500 in two months. That is, that is COVID, though. Because COVID happened in, what, March? And then April, it's 500k. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, I want to know what event happened in Terraria in April 2020, because it can't just be COVID. That makes no sense. Imagine the peak if uh, Helldivers came out during lockdown. Terraria has the Minecraft two-week phase type effect. Oh, they launched on consoles, but this is Steam Chart. Bro, this is Steam Chart. Well, it would make Steam go up. Because people on console are telling their friend to download it, and it's only a $10 game, so a bunch of people on PC probably got it to play with them. But 500k, bro, that's wild. March was, yeah, yeah, it was March, I remember. I got crossplay on consoles just in time. Damn, them console numbers fucking pumped the Steam numbers too, then. That's wild. You know why this game is so amazing? Because this game costs $10, gets constant updates, and has never cost another cent. You could have spent $10 on this game back in 2012, never spent another dollar on this game, and you get every single update. Terraria updates have gotten far and few between, so they get huge peaks. That's fair. That's why this game's lit, though. I don't even play Terraria, but I respect them heavily. How'd you get scared, Brick? My cat randomly just got scared. DRG's the same. How much does Deep Rock cost? Thirty bucks. It's not bad. Ten on sale. What, no DLC for this game? What's Dwarven Legacy? Supporter. These are just cosmetics. I'm cool with games selling cosmetics. That's fine. DLC is all cosmetic. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I want Helldivers to go harder on their cosmetics and even charge a little bit more, man. But they got to go hard. They got to make really good cosmetics. Has a similar microtransactions to Helldivers. That's cool. Herb. Bro, why are you awake? Almost all content still acquirable. Like in-game, you mean? Also, I really like that, like, bro, not only does Helldivers have the cheapest fucking cosmetics I've ever seen, like, you could spend $10 and buy, what, three armors in this game, if you spend $10, but you could also just get them for free, just by playing the game. That's insane. Like, bro, go play Valorant. Valorant, a single 
vandal skin cost twenty dollars. A single skin. A bundle of like five weapon skins costs like eighty to a hundred if it has knife skins and gun buddies too. Can't unlock that shit in game at all. I woke up. The only thing locked is like special hats for the yearly anniversaries. That's fine though. Cause that's swag for the people who were there. The bundles are crazy, yeah. Definitely played Deep Rock. <clears throat> Another really cool thing about DRG is if you have a weapon skin DLC, they add it, they add to it for new weapons. If you have a weapon skin new DLC. Oh, that's cool. When do we start getting joke skins, like a giant chicken or a wizard? Dude, I hope we get a funny April Fool's skin. Play Dragon's Dogma. Dead by Daylight has $20 skins, but they're like full body that come with multiple parts and new voice lines and sometimes new animations. That's fine. If you get new voice lines with cosmetics, then that's cool because voice actors ain't cheap. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not that expensive, but I don't think they're that cheap. $20 for one gun skin? Yeah. I've paid for micro, and I have both war bonds and a ton of armor. Or I haven't paid. Yeah, I, I haven't paid. I've paid $40 to get the game. I didn't pay another penny after that. I don't know. Uh, doesn't it crash on PC? I think it does, just because it's uh, apparently tough on people's CPUs and GPUs. Dude, Helldivers is fucking tough as shit on my CPU. My fucking stream crashes like every other stream or every third stream. Like, I don't have the best CPU ever, but like, it is tough. Sometimes I gotta restart my computer because my task manager be going crazy. At least on CSGO, you could sell your skins when they're done. Yeah, but CSGO skins are like the fucking stock market. Same, except I got the Super Citizen Pass. I've farmed super credits for not that many hours and have bought nearly every superstore out. I bought super credits just to support, and that's cool. If you want to support Arrowhead, go do it. I'm all for that. Somebody bought me the game and then bought the $20 upgrade after unlocking the armor. Yeah, plus the the stuff locked behind... Plus the stuff locked behind the Super Citizen Edition is really nothing special except Stratagem Hero. I want them to go nuts with the updates for this game. Hell yeah. I mean, they will, bro. Helldivers had, what, over 2 million sales? They weren't expecting that. Or I'm sorry, 2 million active players. They got the world record in Stratagem Heroes thanks to that. So worth. Bro, I... I was in La <laughs> Labyrinth, watched me play Stratagem Hero for two and a half hours. I farmed credits for a day just to buy out the FOMO store that I don't agree with. I'm going to buy super credits with real money for the war bonds, though. Got to support a game I like this much? Hell yeah. You're damn right, and I had 150 plus in investments in CS skin. Same for TF2. Made so much money flipping nickels for dimes in that game. Still coasting on one day of farming super credits and buying out that store each day. I can't get past level 9. Yes, haha. Uh, yeah, I think if people... I, I think that the main reason to buy super credits is if you don't play the game a lot and you want all the stuff or if you want to support Arrowhead. Both reasons are totally acceptable or the microtransactions in this game. And on top of that, it's all very cheap. I got 10k super credits and bought like three things in the shop. Bro, buy all the shit in the shop. Buy everything in the shop, bro. Bruh, might as well. Oh, chat, I'm tired. I kind of want to stay up and work on a video, but I'm also pretty tired.
<laughs> Should we play some Stratagem Hero online? Wait, how do I zoom in? Cool. I don't like that it's moving my screen. Uh, what do you think about people farming super credits still? Bro, if you want to farm super credits, go do it. Damn. If I zoom in, it scrolls. Dude! Dude, they have stratagems in here I'm not used to. <laughs> they have stratagems in here that are not in the real game. Farming super creds will be ethical until the end of time, but I'll outright uh, encourage it until the FOMO store is gone. I want to buy Helldivers DLC for weapon completion in the minigame. Me going back to eat. Dude, I've been saying add new stratagems to Stratagem Hero. Like, they don't have Napalm Strike. Also, I don't know Grenade Launcher. What the hell? Why does it get so fast? Can they make the normal Stratagem Hero from the game? Dude, there's so many stratagems in here that are just not in the game. Like, you could tell when I know a stratagem and when I don't. This is so hard. Oh, I suck at Railgun. <laughs> Look at him go. What is the one light stratagem in the game? Uh, in Stratagem Hero. The devs knew how it worked when they launched the game. Super Earth Flag. No, no, no. In the Stratagem Hero. In the Stratagem Hero in game, they don't have every stratagem. So I don't know them all. And I've been asking for them to add it all so that I could learn them all better. And this online mini game. Eagle Rearm. This online minigame actually has every stratagem and it's fucking me up. Cause I have all the all the ones from Stratagem Hero recognized. Oh, I like mech actually. Uh, butcher armors in the store right now. We should check the superstore. I've been meaning to buy more shit in there. I have a bunch of super credits as well. Dude, people were like, you use macros on my stratagem hero. I'm like, no, I memorized every fucking stratagem by picture. Wait, I want to play more of this, but I want to check the superstore. Stratagem Hero is so addicting. Ah, dude, I almost got Cluster Bomb. My favorite is Eats. I actually like the mech. 
The Mac has a nice flow to it. I saw him play in King from Firm. He didn't use macros. What is the Butcher armor? Is that the one I'm already wearing? Uh, outside. Ooh. Oh, this is the Butcher. I only have a thousand super credits. We need a super credit for him. Oh, this is heavy grenade armor. Heavy med armor. I'll take these. If they ever buff heavy armor, it'll be worth it. Should I buy helmets? Bro, give my helmet better armor rating. Mac is a nice rotation. Where'd you get your armor from? Wait, this is light grenade armor? Oh, this shit's ugly. Always buy helmets. This shit's ugly. I like my light grenade armor, my orange light grenade armor. This one's better. I'm actually pissed I bought that now, because this one be looks better. You look at that. It's all bulky. This is supposed to be light armor. Oh, this one has way less armor rating, though. That's interesting. And the speed. A lot less speed, though, to be fair. The light gunner would be interesting if armor rating meant more. Like, armor rating doesn't mean enough for me to ever put this on. I'm praying for fortified light armor. I like that there's in-between armors. Look at the OG infiltrator armor. Why do we have, like, four of these? I like this one, Juggernaut. Juggernaut's low-key my favorite looking one. Need a different helmet, though. I don't care what it looks like as long as it has a good effect. Better Suicide Squad game than Suicide Squad. Wait, there is Fortified Light Armor? I like page 10 armor with cape. Uh, wait, let me change my helmet. I like this helmet a lot. Reminds me of the Boba Fett. This is the Boba Fett. This is the Django Fett. Don't ask me why I call this one Boba and this one Django. Juggernaut and Exterminator are my favorite. <clears throat> Exterminator helmet's pretty decent. I'm not a big fan of these ones. These ones look weird to me. Like, how's this dude even looking? I like the orange grenade armor. Fortified AR-50, very green. Reminds me of the guy on speeder bikes from the forest in old Star Wars. Oh, this one's kind of cool, though, too. The exterminator helmet stays clean. This one's decent. The end result of several billion super credits and 12 years of research into creating the Soldier of Tomorrow. Yeah, exterminator's nice. This armor is your favorite? I'm not a big fan of this one. Uh, which medium grenade armor do I like? Where's my favorite medium grenade armor? This one, Juggernaut. Juggernaut goes hard. <clears throat> Honestly, uh, Exterminator armor did a lot better than I was expecting. I did not 
Like, I was wearing this all day today. I'm still wearing it. This one did a lot better against bots than I was expecting. Combat technician is weirdly blue in a way that it makes it not work with any other armors. Oh god, where's combat technician? Weirdly blue, eh? Oh, do I not have it? I don't have it. Explosive resistance can be clutch for our spots. I mean, I was surviving. I was not expecting to survive that much. The last one. Three red eyes. Oh, are you talking about the helmets? Oh yeah, this one. Oh, I see. Or are you talking about armors? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's weirdly blue to fit the other helmet. I actually dig this armor too. This one actually is pretty nice. It works with the black helmet. Alright, I'm sorry chat, but stratagem hero. I hate this stratagem hero. Like, give me rounds so that I can keep playing. The addiction's real. <laughs> I also like servo assisted. The 129 AR Fortified Stormtrooper armor is perfect breakpoints for surviving rockets with vitality. You keep enough health to not die to fall damage. Why not just play it in the game? I don't have Super Citizen Edition. I need to buy it. What the hell is the auto cannon? Dude, if you fuck up, does it... I hate this version, bro. I actually hate it. It's so unsatisfying. Uh, I also don't know these stratagems. No way I did that. I thought I lost. The key sounds are so wrong. Yeah, they are. I'd make a broke poor joke, but I only afforded Super Citizen because someone bought me the base game. Uh, why do War Bonds not come with all three armor weights? I thought they did. Didn't the newest one come with a version for ARC for all three weights? And what about the first one? The first premium? Unless you're talking about the base War Bond, which that's understandable because the base War Bond just has like base effects that you can buy in the shop. Which is understandable. Because it's the free war bond.
Wait, we gotta beat our high score. The training camp is sick. I hate supply pack. It doesn't feel right to do. Uh, and two med one heavy is in steeled war bonds. I shouldn't have to wait for shop to rotate to get light servo assisted after buying the premium servo assisted war bond. What's the servo assist? Is that throwing? So are you telling me that there's no light throwing in the premium in the uh Servo assisted war bond. Cause then I agree that does suck. I thought I thought it just was all of them. I didn't really pay attention because I don't use that one. Oh my god, I hate supply pack, bro. Supply pack doesn't feel right. Eagle back from the nest. I'm trying to just get 20. All right, hold on. Let's just get 20 chat. That's all I need. Just need 20. And then I'll stop. I don't like test tower either. Supply pack, grenade launcher, OP. Eats do nothing to me. Bars. I just felt something happen in my neck. I'm going to prevent to bed to prevent my head collapsing on itself. Bro, go to bed. Don't you got school? You're about to call off. Have a good night. No. All right, we got 23. You got to give the charger behemoth belly rubs. Have supply pack input drilled in my mind because I used it for a long time, bro. I uh, I do use the supply pack semi frequently, but I have never played it on Stratagem Hero that much. One, it's Sunday. Two, I'm old. There's no school that could hold me anymore. Oh, someone else told me they had school. I mixed you guys up. Twenty three, damn nice. All right, do you think we could get 30, though? Charger Behemoth rocks up with the ooh-woo. What you doing? Yo, happy Easter, Convo. That was me. Go to bed, Purisaws.
24. Let's beat our high score. Uh, I'm not good at auto cannon sentry either. Ballistic shield input messes me up. Currently, supply pack is fucking my whole life up. And auto cannon sentry is kind of weird. My high score is 43, you're trolling. Fuck, I knew I was gonna die at that Tesla Tower. <laughs> Prove it, no. Fuck me. Okay, down, right, down, up, left, left. Bro, also, it like... <sighs> Dude, it freaking... How do I explain it? It keeps your... When you fuck up, it keeps the first input, which fucks me up too. Dude, I used to have so much trouble with Railgun. Railgun's kind of easy now. Yo, Nightbot, chill. Why are you double texting? Oh, I thought that was an eat. Eight hour stream, let's go. Nah, it hasn't been eight hours yet. Eagle, back from the nest. Stratagem Hero Marathon. I know I said I just want 20 and then I'll stop chat, but I lied. And you gotta get over it. Alright, I think I got supply pack down. What the fuck was that? I figured you lied. Bro, I can't help it. My stratagem hero addiction is real. This game's just too satisfying. Although I wish this one had rounds. The one in game has rounds. Which is like better because you can't really get past 20. Our streamer's a liar. You can't get past 20 on this, which is like, kind of sucks. But I just want to press input so it's fine.
I'm gonna go over some torque, some bolts, have a good one. Yo, gotta burn, have a good night. Get the Stratagem Hero Game Boy thingy. Is it the true in-game Stratagem Hero though? Did Helldivers 1 have Stratagem Hero? Yeah, I have supply pack down. Bro, why did it get so fast? Fuck, I don't know, SOS. April Fool's video. I may have one planned. All right, let me X this out before I play again. I may or may not have an April Fool's video plan. All right, let's read some YouTube comments. This guy made me play Stratagem Hero online. Let's not forget the Great Spear. Used to one-shot Charger before the Chargers had health, the nerf, and Bile Titans. The thing is that you need to wait for them to face you. Resulting in a headshot, one-shot kill. The main problem, the lock-on system, it needs some tweaks. Honestly, giving the spears low ammo, ultra-slow reload, janky, and long walk-in time. A mobile when aiming and firing an ammo backpack, it would not be that absurd to just make it always one-shot. Titans and chargers. Even if you don't hit their head, chargers became a joke after the head health. And a lot of things one-shot them or deal with them with ease. But bile titans are another story. They're still a tough foe. That's when the spear can shine. The spear can sh one shot them, waiting for the titan to face you, as I said, but usually takes two shots because it's hard to have them facing you and the damn lock on. Well, the quasar can two shot titans as well, but the quasar has infinite ammo, no ammo backpack, etc. The spear has a lot of drawbacks, but specifically the long, immobile reload and ammo backpack, so one shot in a titan would not be that absurd since the quasar doesn't have those drawbacks and can two shot it. Uh, haters are calling the Quasar OP when it's the same damage. It's just an alternative playstyle. Quasar mains aren't calling it OP at all. Heavy weapons are fine as is. Good work, Arrowhead. I wish people would use Recoilless Rifle more too. After all, if two people bring it, you're more likely to get team reload going. And when the Recoilless is team re reloaded, it is the best AT weapon in the entire game. And even when it is not team reloading, it still has the highest rate of fire out of all the AT weapons at the moment. By the time the Quasar Cannon charges, fires cooldowns to be fired again. You're halfway through your thro third reload on the Recoilless Rifle. But God forbid anyone gives up their precious backpack slot to use a co-op mechanic in a co-op game. Like the gunner can still wear a guard dog or a shield if someone else is carrying the ammo pack. Remember, the bubble shield is big enough to cover someone if you hug them. So it should mostly protect someone if you, they are loading your weapon, and the guard dogs will keep light enemies at bay. I feel like, I feel like we need to try the bubble shield more with team reloads. Like bubble shield team reload is definitely a strat. I already knew about that. Eleven k views on that video. Am I famous? Wait, which video are you talking about, Labyrinth? Damn, our last couple videos, not getting too many views. I wonder what happened. It seems like since I got hacked, a lot of my videos aren't getting a lot of views. But I don't want to necessarily blame the hack. Because um, it could just be that my content needs improved. I was looking at the other one. Like, look at my last three videos. 5k views each. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, this one, I understand why I didn't get many views. 
I saw someone do bubble shield hug and thought it was funny. Yeah, with the uh, with the 500 kg bomb. Oh, the one mil in stratagem hero. Yeah, 9.6. Dude, this was glorious. Dude, you could hear how tired I was in the intro. <laughs> Maybe this one didn't get a lot of views because it's a whole solo hell dive run. I feel like there's enough of those on YouTube already. This one, though, I worked hard on. I felt like this one should have had a lot more. But it's stuck at 5k, which kind of sucks. Can we watch the orbital video? Which orbital video? Yeah, we can. Ugh. That's the last thing we're going to watch, though, that I'm getting off for real. I've had over 40 pizzas in the past 30 days. That's crazy. The third one. Oh, you want to watch this video? We'll watch the Alex. intro. Everyone has that one guy on their squad that makes them say, Bruh. And for me, his name is Bruh. Bruh with the most kills and the most accidentals. He is actually the real Bruh. Welcome aboard, <laughs> Bro. The most accidentals. Look, he is actually <laughs> look at this fucking kid's face. Why does this kid look like this? And the sister's just like, eh, whatever. But this kid's like, oh, huh? <laughs> and the dad's fucking it's disgusted. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes. Now, bro came up with a build that uses the three most place everything down most powerful orbital barrages and in the fourth slot he likes the 500 kg bomb because well who missing? I want you to blow up the ocean. now i tried coming up with catchy names for bruh's build but barrage you know doesn't really have the same ring to it so we're gonna be calling this the bruh build and this is the new best meta for eradicate missions and before you get all butthurt in the comment section about me calling something obviously bad the new best meta just remember that the real meta is the friends you make along the way <laughs> on top of that we're using the never seen before on youtube trader strat where we can even use traders to democracy to our benefit everyone from super earth whether they're guilty of treason or not will contribute to spreading liberty across the galaxy so make sure you equip the orbital walking barrage the 120 and the 380 barrages and a 500 kilogram bomb for good measure and squish some unpatriotic insects be warned this build will piss off your teammates unless you have their full consent to give their life for freedom and democracy all the galaxy looks to you for salvation oh my Let's god i still have the sight <laughs> I'll have a chance to pick up a new primary. That is a that is an iconic intro. <laughs> Dude, the bra build goes hard. It's actually a good ass build for fucking It's actually a good ass build for eradicates and blitz missions. Like for, it literally clears blitz missions easily. At least against bots. What a good video, bruh's still awake, by the way. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm getting the fuck off. I'll be back at some point. But we're gonna call it. That was a good-ass stream. That was a good-ass session earlier, too. We had a lot of fun on Malevolon Creek. I take it every time in Eradicate. Yeah, in Eradicate, it's literally the best thing. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for watching. Play Deep Rock. Good night. Oh seven. Yo, good night, guys. Happy Easter.